Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's the Tony Show Show, baby. It's Friday night. It's Friday night, and as you know, my man show running late, but it's all good, though. We got the toe out here. My bad, my bad. Hold on. Just adjust this shit. Yeah, we might do a show on shows in traffic. I don't know how long he's going to get to get home if he gets on. Might just be me today. I'm not, I'm not feeling 100%, but you know, we got to do our thing. We out here. We got to do what we got to do, what we gotta do, man. We ain't, no, we ain't no bitches out here, you feel me? What's going on, pimp? How's everything with you, brother? How's everything with you? How's everything with everybody else watching? You know? What's going on? Y'all excited for the weekend? Y'all excited for uh, Friday? This was a long week. I don't know about y'all, but this was a fucking long week. This was a real long week to my ass. Shit. <clears throat> Excuse me, shit. But yeah, man. Everybody want to know the topic and shit like that. I'm, you know how we do. We come off the cuff with this shit. We come off the cuff. With this. You guys have any questions, anything you want to talk about, let me know. Let me know. I know uh, Lay was on some... He asked, a, he asked a good question before. Uh, shit, I got to... I gotta figure this. Uh. Oh, there you go. What qualifies as a deep conversation? All right, let's let's play this. Let's play this. Yeah. All right, you ready? How about this one as a subject? What qualifies as a like a real deep conversation? You know what I mean? Like a like a deep, useful, informative, and a conversation that you don't forget about, that you always remember. You know what I mean? That's a good question, right? What qualifies as a deep conversation? You know, one that you don't forget about. I'm pretty sure it's not. I mean, anything could be deep, but. Um, I got a little stuffed up nose, pimp. I got a little stuffed up nose and a cough. Right next to me, right here, right here is the AC. And during the movie podcast, I kept turning it on and off because it would get too cold, it would get too hot, get too cold, it fucked me. <clears throat> so right now, I just got a stuffed up nose and a... Plus, with the lack of sleep, I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. This one might be a short one, depending on uh, if I get somebody on or... Or uh, if show gets home early, which I doubt it, because he just showed me a picture of uh, traffic. And he's still on the bridge, and that's going to take a while. What up, big fool? Are you the only one? Yep. <clears throat> the only one on the show right now. But it's all good, though. It's all gravy. Shit, man. When was the last time you had a conversation that meant something? Shit. I think those, those types of conversations are ones that you have to be, like, vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Like ones that you have to get over your fear of get over your fear of uh being judged or or uh being looked at different because you think that no one understands what you're going through when a lot of people understand what you're going through. I think when you open up and let those walls down and you let people actually like you be one hundred percent honest with each other and there's no outside forces determining what's going on, I think those conversations are best ones either that or like the ones that just come out of nowhere you know what i'm saying like there was one conversation i had and i was like yo you, you notice how or I was, I was like do you think that if we wasn't in the hood right now we wouldn't be over here in the same conversation that this chick's having on the phone uh listen so i'm going to throw a hard time i only got a good i only got, got what I hear you, big food. I hear you, man. That's what's up. But yeah, man. And and I was I was just saying it's like cause it, it's it's crazy. Like you in the hood and there's lack of money. Everybody's talking about either someone else or the shit they got or the, you know the problems at work. But I'm pretty sure if you went to like Beverly Hills with people, everyone there got money. I don't think the conversations would be. This would probably be talking about other people, but I don't know if they'd be the same kind of conversation. 
you know? Where, it, you know, this one will be like, you know, like in the hood, you know, all the conversations. Like, yeah, this motherfucker pressed me and I had to let him know because I ain't no bitch. Blah, 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 blah. But you go to, you know, rich neighborhood. Like, yeah, man, I got my fucking 401k set up. And it's, you know, it's profit margin. Let me show you how to do it. Yada, yada, yada. Goes on a boat. Let me, let me reply back to Pearl. But yeah, man, I think that I think those those are the types of conversations that are good, you know. What about y'all? Y'all y'all had any conversations that you like? You like y'all not this one? I I would never. Forget. Like I gotta play some music. So it's weird to be talking without my headphones. I can hear other shit. But shit, yeah. I mean, also a ridiculous conversation. That's a, that's a weird one because uh, for me at least I remember a lot of shit. I there's some conversations or interactions I still remember because I'm like, damn, I could handle it this way, handle it that way. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having a deep conversation that you remember, big fool. <clears throat> big food is little show. That's what we call big food out here, little show. Shit, because I, I was, I'm, I am explaining what I'm talking about. Big food, you just gotta listen. Terrence, what's going on, man? <clears throat> what we got here? Uh, hey, to I feel where you're coming from. I hit. I have a air conditioner right next to my bed, and I have a head cold now. I gotta move my bed into my bedroom. <laughs> no, yo, for real, yeah, man. It, it's not that bad of a head cold. It's just, like I said, I just gotta uh congest, not congested, but it, my nose is leaking. You know what I'm saying? My nose leaking. I've been coughing. Just because, you know, I, I ate dinner kind of fast. And that shit was like, nah, let's come back up. I held it down, though. You know what I'm saying? I held it down. Other than that, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. No fever, no none of that shit. <clears throat> but shit, man. Um, yeah, yeah, I was talking to some people, right? And uh, the, the subject of height came up. You know, talking about, oh, I'm attracted to tall guys. So, you know, every fucking chick is attracted to tall guys. And I'm like, yo, what's the fascination with tall guys? Like, no no hate, no hate, but what's the fascination with tall guys? You chilling like a villain on penicillin with a Mac 11, just wait for seven pimp? I feel you, bro. <laughs> I feel you, bro. That's how we do it out here. But, like, yeah, what's the fascination with tall guys? And no matter who I ask, they cannot give an actual, like, reason and i get it because if you ask if you ask a guy like what's the fascination with a big ass you're like oh that shit just looks sexy you know it turns on no one ever none of the chicks ever say that it's like i get turned on by a tall dude they just you know bullshit you through the whole way but it's still like yo what's the fascination because i want to know what makes a tall guy better than me right or better than a shorter guy right so Here's the question that I asked myself. I was like, yo, do we have did we let society put the standards of women on men? Because you know how, yeah, you're 5'11 and females call you short. And I'll bet you the, the ones that are calling you short are like 5'3, five, 5'2, five, right? The shortest ones are the ones that can't tell high for shit. They can't tell high for shit. They want fucking jolly green giant. I don't understand that. But um, yeah, like, uh, oh, shit, what was I saying? Yeah, so I want to know, like, what makes it, so did we put, because you know how women with the, the the magazines and the way they talk about each other, they put standards on each other. That's why they have all these fucking makeups and these heels and these dresses. They work out every fucking day. They have to have a nice booty. They have the nice, you know, they put the Botox in their face. They want to look young for some reason. Like, they're competing with each other. Did we allow... Women to be in, well, when we allowed women to be in control of how society works, 
did we allow them to put those same fucking uh, restrictions on us? You know what I'm saying? Like, all I'm hearing now, all I'm hearing now is if you want a bad bitch, you got to have money and you got to be, you can't be short, fat and broke or, or ugly, short, fat and broke. Or, you, you know, you can't like you could be ugly, but you got money. You can't be, you got to be tall and in shape and blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting I'm like, who the fuck is saying this? You know what I'm saying? Like, when did this become a thing? And and it makes me, it's like, yo, because slow, like with Kevin Samuels popping up out of nowhere and being a phenomenon is because I've noticed, you know, we let, what's going on, Flocka? We let the women's opinion run the social courts. Let's just say that, right? So if the women's opinions are running the social courts, and that's why men have to be successful with money and tall and, you know, in shape and all that other shit. Because if you look, Every man that has money does not fit any other criteria on that list. You ever notice the hottest chick that's always on vacation? Maybe got one or a half of a picture with the dude that took her on vacation. Because he don't fit any of the criteria, but he got money. And then the dude that she's cheating with, and vice versa, but the dude that she's cheating with look the way she was. So it's like, what's really going on here? Uh, is is it the women that are setting these barriers, or is it the dudes that are that don't have anything going for them, just trying to trick these women, you know, trying to trick society into thinking that some dude like me that got game don't have a shot because I'm short or because I'm overweight or whatever the fuck the case may be. You know what I'm saying? It's like I never understood that. I never understood that because. In order for you to say someone's better than me, then that means you have to think someone's better than you, and I, I'm not going to sit here and say anybody's better than me. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you're tall don't mean shit. You know, I have no control over that shit. I have no control over my height, but I have control over the way I am. And everything is a contradiction now. I don't know if y'all realize this shit, but everything's like a fucking contradiction. It's like, they want you to be a man, but you can't be a man. Or they want you to be an asshole, but when you're an asshole, they hate you. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't like that shit. I want to be me. Can I be me? And why is being me the problem? You know? Like, and, and I don't know. Maybe there's some, like, the rich dudes that get to pick because, you know, they never had anything before or they had all of them. But the thing is, they'll pick different ones. But it's like, who who's doing this? Remember back in the day you went on a first date to get to know each other, and then there was a whole oh if you slept slept with me I don't want to look like a whore. Now it's like they're not even going on a date; you're just going to fuck. Which is I, I don't mind that. I don't mind going to fuck, but I would like to get to know somebody sometime. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't have a conversation with somebody. Like you you can have a conversation with somebody on Insta, on on social media, and within the third conversation they're already calling you babe. They're already assuming that you're going to be in a relationship. They're already like, oh, I got a car. You could do this. You could do that. Oh, let's go here. Let's go there. And I'm like, yo, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still speaking to your representative. I, I, like, I would like to, you know, get past the automated machine and talk to you. You know, I don't want to talk to the automated machine. You know, back in the day, I put a lot of work into finding out who's what, but who, but what. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And it's, it's, it's weird now. You sit there and everybody has the same fucking thing. It's like, you have to be tall. I like tall guys. Why? I can't tell you. I had sex with a bunch of chicks. That, like, I don't see what the, like, you know, like, we're going to need a scientist to figure this shit out. And it, and it only, I only bring it up is because it's becoming more and more frequent. It's like, why are you cutting yourself off to something? Just because everybody else is doing it. I bet you if any money, if someone came up with a good reason not to work out, no one would be working out anymore. All these girls are working out. It's the workout trend because they're trying to be the, the Instagram models and all other shit. And yo, don't let me don't, don't let me fool you. They look good. Shit. I'm not gonna lie, they look good. And then the dudes wants to holler at them and then they get big and all this other bullshit and it's it's all bullshit. Because 
because I don't have muscles, you're not going to talk to me? Or because I have muscles, you're going to talk to me? To me, that's not, I don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be a, somebody that's a prerequisite. I'm not someone you can hire. Like, I can understand if if you was trying to hire me and you need references. I get it. Because, you know, you got to trust me with whatever. you I'm fixing your car, your house. You know, you got to be able to have some kind of trust or some shit. But it's like, I can't talk to you unless you're six one. What are you doing now? Like, you talking to me now. Like, for that, you should never look at me. Like, how do you, how do you fucking, like, go throughout life? And then I guarantee you, they maybe only had one or two guys that were that fucking tall. Every other fucking guy they had was, was probably short or their height, or a little bit taller than average, maybe like 5'11", like Pimp. They probably never seen a six foot some tall guy in their life. And, and that's what bugs the shit out of me. What's going on, Walter? Feel better tell the problem with the modern day woman. They love tall guys. They love bad boys. They want you to pay for everything when you're going out on a date. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Listen to this shit. Speaking of speaking of that, uh, my boy hits me up. It was it's a post, but I believe it. I believe that shit one hundred percent. Oh fuck, it's unavailable. But this guy just started talking to this girl, and this girl's like, "Oh, I just got um, I just got my hair did or something like that," and the dude responds like, "Oh, okay, cool." And then she responds to like, yo, what are you, a bum? Like, you didn't even offer to reimburse me for my hair or you didn't even, like, you know, offer to pay for this shit. And, like, this is, like, the second or third conversation. And I'm sitting like, who the fuck do you think you are? Reimburse you? Like, am, am I a job? Like, am I a modeling company that, like, we have fucking, you know, people who do hair here, but because they couldn't, you go out, do it yourself, and we reimburse you? Like, no, I'm dude, I'm a dude that's trying to get to know you. When the fuck do I have to reimburse you for shit? Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, how dare you ask for shit like that? How dare you ask for shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, ain't, it, it ain't looking that bad when a guy just asks for sex. You know what I'm saying? It, it, in all honesty, it's, it's not looking that bad because you're just dead at, like, you're expecting this nigga to be like, well, let me give you the money for it. Excuse me? What? Nah. But, yo, delete this number. Cockpit, delete the number. Like, you gotta be out your fucking mind. Something similar like that happened to me, but it wasn't like a, you didn't, re it was, you know, they asked me to do it, and I was like, I don't know who you are, so I'm good. She was hot, too. It was one of those that, like, Damn, if I would have did it, you think I would have probably smashed? I probably could have smashed. I was smooth back in the day, but it's still, like, general principle. You know what I'm saying? It's like just the principality of the shit. Like, you got to be out your fucking mind. For that, just to give me a price. Like, give me a price. Like, $80 to smash. All right, cool. We could, All the other shit, throw out the window. Getting to know you, going out to eat, having to be charming, all that other shit. I'll pick you up. We'll go to the motel. <laughs> you go whore and then let me get my shit. Let me get mine and we out. You got your you got your little change. You know what I'm saying? Like you playing games. Yeah. And and the, the crazy shit is people misunderstood Kevin Samuels because one, he was talking to delusional women. And two, he spoke even worse to guys. He spoke even worse to guys. Like he would he called this one guy a fucking socially awkward loser. Because he was an asshole and he didn't want to speak to people, but he wanted to have sex. And he's like, yo, if all you want to do is have sex and then go pay a bitch to have sex, get out the fucking way. Now you have sex and now go live your life. But they don't hear that. They don't hear him going, yo, you men are fucking stupid. If you're, if you're going to go outside and you don't shower or wear cologne or you smelling like a motherfucker and you want a hot chick, like how dare you walk outside like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a reputation we got to keep as a man. And there's supposed to be a reputation that you got to keep as a woman. And, the, and it's, it's crazy because no one, no one has this in the in the face-to-face -face shit. And this is what's scary because you could talk to somebody face-to-face -face and everything's Gucci. But then the minute it gets onto the phone or social media and you're like, you're not together, that's when all the, oh, do me a favor. Buy me this or do that. Then everybody come out their face. It's like, what? It's, I, yo, I, don't under, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. 
And yo, I've been single for a minute, and I'm probably gonna be single for a longer minute. That's just because I'm like, I don't know what's going on with these chicks. I either get the ones that attach <laughs> the second sentence or the ones that want to ask for shit. Or the bots. Let me get your WhatsApp. Like, I don't know why you need my WhatsApp, honey. We were talking already. Who, what, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You know? It's always the Asians. It's always the Korean ones that want to talk on uh, WhatsApp. Hold on, let me hit up Kenny. I always, I always hit up Kenny and uh, I always hit up the boys to see if they want to come on the tone of the show, show the fill in for the show. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man, it's and it, it's sad because no one is on the opposite side of this. You ever notice that? Like you see, like someone like uh, Nicki Minaj back in the day talking about how she used to lure men into the into the hotel. And then, you know, two dudes will be there or a couple dudes will be there, jump them, steal all their money, and then leave. And no one is on the other side like, yo, that's fucked up. Like, no woman is on some, that's fucked up. Or, you know, like, no one takes a stand when when uh, this chick did that shit to, to Johnny Depp. Everybody's like, yeah, Johnny Depp won, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you like him as an actor, but no one is sitting there going, we need to stop all these women that are fucking abusing men and lying about it. I don't see none of that happen. Do you guys see that? I don't see none of the posts of stand up for the men that's not abusing you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I remember when Amber Heard was getting abused and she did all that shit. Disney pulled him out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Like all these people, you know, pulled out his fucking, his uh, sponsors and, and all that other bullshit. But no one was on some, yo, maybe Johnny Depp didn't do that. And and that's what's crazy. It's like, are we so divided that men are wrong even when women lie? It's hard to find that that uh, sweet, decent all about us. They 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 left. They they all left because everybody's on the mindset of I got to take care of me. I got to love me first. How can you? All right, if you love yourself, how are you gonna love somebody else? Or how are you gonna love somebody else to love you? Because now it's a battle. It's like I get it. You you do got you don't treat yourself bad, but being in, a, in some kind of relationship, you gotta have, be vulnerable somehow. You gotta put the walls down somehow, and that and it's it's almost like you're gonna purchase something. So you still got all these girls that got like eighty two kids, and they're looking for the, the the best guy in the world, and you're gonna find one. It's just it might not be the one you you want, you know, or you're gonna have to put a little effort in. But that's another that's another thing. It's like, you know, you have all these conversations with people and like I've talking to chicks I was interested in and we have a nice conversation as the last time I speak to them. It's like, yo, what the fuck? I hit them up the next, you know, a couple of days later, what's going on? Nice conversation. No response. I was like, all right, I got the hint. He's like, you know, if you're not gonna put in the effort in either, why am I gonna put all this? I'm not gonna track you down every fucking day. I'm not gonna track you down every day when I can and I can literally not hit you up for two, three weeks and not hear from you. Two, three months and not hear from you. What kind of shit is that? Like, wh- how am I gonna feel now? I'm I'm pursuing you, and this is this is what you're doing. You have no consideration for me. So if you have no consideration for me, then what the fuck am I getting myself into? You know, and it's the same thing for for you women if you're in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you getting yourself into? There's no consideration for you, and there's got to be some kind of consideration for the person you're trying to get to know, you're trying to talk to. It's human fucking decency. You know, it's mad frustrating, pimp. I hear you. I hear you. And, and you know, that whole shit being honest up front, that shit don't work neither. You know, because it's like, you know, you be honest with some chicks and then they think you joking. Like, it's not a game when I tell you I don't have enough time on my hands for all this other shit, but I want to get to know you. It's like, get to know you doesn't mean <laughs> after this conversation, we are married now. That's not how it works. Like, you know, let's talk. Let's, let's you know, Take this shit slower than normal. Like, what is the rush? Like, uh, are women going to go extinct if they don't get married in, like, fucking two, three years? Like, what's going on here? Why is it that everything is a rush? You can't rush this process. 
That's why there's so many divorces. That's why there's so many fucking guys committing suicide. Because it's... They put in so much effort for nothing. That's the one thing that people don't talk about. What's going on, Kofi? We live, baby. We out here, baby. We ain't feeling 100%, but we out here, Kofi. You feel me? Appreciate you stopping by, man. But that's the one thing that people don't talk about is the, is the, the effort that somebody would put in to... Not one, but like multiple chicks, and they, it's the same thing. And it's like, yo, what's wrong with me? And then, and then you go, uh, like, what's wrong with me? And everybody's like, nothing's wrong with you. It's like, all right, so if nothing's wrong with me, then why are all these chicks doing this shit to me? Like, oh, maybe it's the type of chick you're talking to. I'm talking to all types of chicks. Maybe chicks ain't shit. Thanks, Kofi. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's that's where you get that. Chicks ain't shit. Then you got that dude that just goes out there. Playing the game, getting what he wants, and then now your girls are like, oh, guys ain't shit. But you ain't realize that this nigga, he figured out how to get what he wanted from y'all because y'all ain't never going to give him what he wants, what he really wants. So he's going to get something. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's weird how that, that shit happened because you got some dude that will give his all to somebody and one little fuck of it, and boom, now he's dead. Now he killed himself because, because of a chick. A chick that cared about him but didn't give a fuck about him. Trust me. I've been. I know. I know what it's like for people to care about you and not give a fuck about you at the same time. It, it's it's not uncommon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not uncommon. It's more common than people caring about you. You feel me? Like it takes it takes a real old school person to truly care about somebody above above themselves. Not above themselves, but as equal as they care about like their family or something. Like the 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 I'm gonna hit you up. Just to see how you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you find that. But I, I feel like the you got to grow up with that. I don't think you can find that in the street. Not, not, anything, not anything that comes naturally. You know, like, because you probably, I could, I could talk to a chick and have that instantly within a week, two weeks. The whole, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, baby, blah, blah, blah. And all that other shit. But then I feel like it's fake because I don't know you. You don't know me. And you're forcing your feelings onto me. And it's comfortable. And and guys love comfortability. And you're gonna you're gonna sit there and be comfortable and and fucking hey, hey, what's up, baby? You know, this is mine, it's comfortable, it's easy. But then back to the case is you don't know this chick, and next thing you know, you're trying to chill with your boys and she she's yelling at you. Or someone breaks into your fucking car and you're violated and you go, yo, listen, I gotta go fix my car. Can I talk to you tomorrow? And that's a, and then it's like, no, nah, fuck you, and said it's over and like what happened? <laughs> what happened? I thought you liked me. I thought you gave a shit about me. What happened to all the other people, you know, all the other days where you're trying to make sure I'm okay and yada, 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 but, you know, somebody broke into my car and it's fucked me? <laughs> like, what? And that actually happens. That's why I don't like this whole, you know, first day, first week shit of, hey, they, that's my baby. Nah, I don't know you. What were we talking about? Oh, we talking about a lot of shit. We talking about a lot of shit, uh, Flocka. How men be depressed because they putting in mad effort into into these chicks and they don't even reciprocate anything. But no, but yeah, like that. That's weird. And you get the the ones that it's all about them. It's all about them. Like even if they're trying to do something for you, it's because of them. It's like yo, I'm not a pet. I'm not a person. I'm a person, and you're a person too. So I I, I feel like we should respect each other in that sense. And and I don't know, I guess you have to be tall or uh, an Instagram model to, to get that now. Like, there's levels to this shit. Like, they, they changed the hierarchy now. We went back to the Roman times where, where uh, um, social status and economical status outweighs who you are. So if I'm not, like, if, I, if my Instagram ain't popping, I can't talk to nobody. I can't slide into nobody's DM. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> like, if I'm walking down the street and I'm, you know, I'm short as I am. And don't get me, don't get it twisted. I get looks. Usually they're with their mans, though. And I don't understand that. I don't understand why a chick would look at me and smile while they're with their man. I always wondered if it was one of those, because like, oh, I want to see my boyfriend get jealous. It hasn't happened yet. But it's like, you don't look at me when you by yourself. But when you with your man or with your crew, that's when you look at me and I'm like, what's, what's going on? And to me, that's, that's confusing. I don't want confusing. I don't want problems. I want peace. You know what I'm saying? 
but I don't know what to tell you about that shit. It's just it's weird, man. And we we allowed fucking society to put those mandates on us. It's like you ain't shit unless you unless you got this 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 and this. Who the fuck are you to tell me who I am? Period. Like in all honesty, I want to say that to a doctor sometimes. Like they 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 put a, a scope in like. They did the actual shit and they could see into my arm and like, well, you ain't never going to use this again. Who the fuck are you to tell me that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody has this video, these videos of them. Like, who are you to tell me who I am? And go by and they want to be, you know, motivation. I ain't trying to be motivation. I'm just, I'm being dead ass. Who the fuck do y'all think you are talking about? This dude needs to be a drug dealer. He needs to make this amount of money. He needs to be this tall. Fuck you. That's what you get. Fuck you. Not from me. You may get that in the streets. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of simps out there that will be all that for you because you have a fat booty and you got that shit from DR. Congratulations. Hold on. Let me let me uh let me tell the the the, the fucking shit over. Congratulations. You finally done this. You know what I'm saying? But not for me. Not for me. I I I, I have a little bit more respect for myself than that. The, the people I'm with have more respect for themselves than that shit. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of chicks that have those fake bodies that look good. And the, the, most of them, it's the natural face that does it for me. It's like, yeah, you got thick hips. And like, yeah, I want to bite that shit. But I like your face. The one thing you didn't touch on your body. But yeah, it's it's weird. But then it's it's it's. I think it's about time that men start going. Who the fuck do you think you? Are? With the amount of work I put into my not to myself, but the amount of work I put into into the day to do what I to be able to live the life I'm living now, it's not hard, but it's not easy. And everybody got their own problems, and everybody got their own demons. Who the fuck do you think you are to put more limitations on me or put uh, demand more of me in an impossible situation like that? No. I can't grow, and I make the money I make. If I make more money, guess what? You're out of the tax bracket. What's going on, Anthony? Appreciate you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're out of tax. Like once, I, once you think of me as lesser than you, once I get to your level, you now lesser than me. Like this is the rules. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I hate. I, I honestly hate that shit because I do believe that we can have some kind of equality when it comes to being people. You know? Yeah, we can. You know, everybody has their limitations and their own fucking things they can't do. But as people, we should be able to talk to each other without any fucking barriers. Because for that, it's like, then only fucking gorgeous women should should touch me in the hospital. If we're going to do that. Right? Only gorgeous women should touch me or feed me. I want only grandmas to cook. In restaurants. You know what I'm saying? I, I want only fucking old Italian dudes fixing cars or some shit. Like, you, you feel me? Like, what's going on here? It makes no fucking sense. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, if you feel the same way you do, let me know. But if you don't, let me know. Because this, this is just me. I take it personal. Because it, it takes a lot for me to be who I am. And then to hear all these shits. Like, you don't even know who I am. And you gonna do all this other shit. You only get looked at by ugly women. Well, I hear you. You wanna hear something funny? I only get hit on by gay men. Which is weird. I was like, what? And I asked people, like, do I look gay? And they're like, no, you don't. Like, I'm not. I like women. But and now everybody now the new thing is everybody thinks I have a kid. Which is it's like I've known you for years and I never showed you a picture of a kid ever in my life. You follow me on social media. I don't have a kid anywhere on my on my social media. What makes you think I have kids? Like, am I a spy? <laughs> I don't know about this. Am I am I fucking moon night? I have a split personality. I wake up in the morning, I got a fucking I got a, a kid. I got a kid and 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 fucking another family that I don't know about. Like Show me some proof if that's the case. 
I'm trying to get some uh, reinforcements, you know, trying to get Kenny and uh, Dave from Pro Wrestling Podcast, the pro show, on here, you know, that way you don't hear all the congestion and shit. But yeah, and and it is weird, man, because it I would you want to be yo you want you want the real game, have a real conversation with one of these chicks, and then you know that's when you introduce the the smooth guy into it. Because the more you can have a conversation with these chicks and find and get to know them and do all this other stuff with all that, you they'll open up to you. They'll open up to you. Oh, you figure out. And this is the fucked up thing. Sometimes you got to figure out what, what gets them going. Sometimes it's the, uh, like the, the fantasy world they want. So it's like you're somebody new. They're in a situation. Low by them, like, yo, if you show them that you could give them better than what they got, they'll, they'll give you a shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people get used. Well, yeah, because it's no longer it's like it, everybody's trying to get something out of somebody, and I don't, I don't get it. Like, show makes the mention like, oh, would you go out with somebody that's making millions of dollars? Like, I would, but it's, I'm still driving my own car. I'm just, like, if she wants to get one of those, you know, six hundred dollar steaks and shit, I ain't gonna be mad at because I like the steaks. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not here for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I still, I still want to be my own person. Money doesn't. It, it's not that it impresses. It doesn't impress me. It's just I'm happy for you. But where I am right now is where I'm comfortable. And when I get to that that point, then we can talk about doing all the other shit. Because I've always been the type. Like if I ain't got money, I ain't going out. Whether you gonna cover me or not, it's like I don't feel right not being able to cover myself. That just comes down. That's just growing up with parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't cover your own way, you, I don't think you should go out because what happens if you get stranded? You can't get home. You can't do this shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those ways to keep security in yourself. You know, but they 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 miss all that shit too. And and yo, these kids are not being raised. A lot of these fucking kids now are not being raised right at all. You know, I seen one kid. Well, I seen a couple people. Go up to somebody with the phone. I'm like, hey, let me get your number, blah, blah, blah. And then they, you see the fake smile on the girl. They give them the number and they leave. And I'm like, well, she ain't picking up. And, yo, back in the day, that's usually how you did it. But nowadays, that's not that's not how it was done anymore. Like, this this one girl was smiling on the bus. Like, she like, just got good news. And this dude asked her for some shit. And then when he got off the bus, the next stop, her face just shut down like, fuck. I can't believe this nigga just fucking asked me for my number. Like, fuck, I should have never smiled. Word. Puerto Rican parents don't trust nobody. <laughs> they don't trust nobody. They just want... The goal for a Puerto Rican parent is to have you come home safe every day. That's the goal. It don't give a shit what you do. As long as you come in the house safe, <laughs> that's their goal. They won. They won that night. <laughs> you know? But yeah, man, it's... It's, it's, it's crazy, because... Now everybody wants to social media. And it's like, for what? You want to DM me over social media, you look at the pictures. All right, cool, but what what does my pictures on social media have to do with my lifestyle? You know, because everything is set up to take the picture the way, like, you're in a perfect location. Like, yo, this, oh, this song is playing. I'm here. Yeah, look at me, baby. Look at me chilling. Meanwhile, you walking by the store. Like what? Uh, you two toe tags. I get started. I guess that <laughs> by gay dudes. I also told my mom. She said gay men have great taste and taste and looks. I guess so. I guess so. I'm just waiting for the women to 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 start agreeing with these gay dudes. And that, and that's the crazy shit too because the women be like, well, I mean, you don't look bad. You 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 a good looking guy. And like, so what's up? Oh, you're not my type. What type am I? I can never get answers. Like, what type am I? One person told me straight. I was like, she thinks that I'm the type of person that would that would break a heart. And I'm like, how? How would I break your heart? She wouldn't. She never answered that question. And I'm still trying to figure out how I would break your heart. Speaking nothing but the truth. Hey, yo, man. This is this is how I feel, man. This is this is what I've seen from when I was when I was younger, man. Everything's different. 
everything's different. Now, you know, when we grew up, love songs meant something. Now no one wants to hear the love songs. Everybody wants to hear the party shits and, you know, all the the pop shits and all that other shit because they know it's fake now. Those emotions are fake. And you can't fake emotions from back in the day. You can't fake boys and men back in the You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't fake boys and men back in the day. There's a couple of songs that I would never tell to a chick just because she looked good. Like, yeah, like, these are ones that I save in the bank for, like, on a wedding day or one of those, like, nah, nah, this is the one. This is Junior. I have those special ones for them. No matter how good you look, Sasha come up to me, it don't, it don't matter. Unless I feel the way, I feel, like, unless I feel 100% this is you, and the rest of my life, that this song, nope, it is staying in the vault. It is staying in the vault. I'm not, I'm not unleashing these songs. Now, everybody, you fucking write poems and, and give their fucking social security number to a chick that you just met. Like, I want to do something for her. You want to do something special for her? Like, <coughs> what's special? Let's go, on a, let's go on a fucking plane ride or a helicopter ride. How long you known this chick? Two weeks. What? My nigga, you haven't even hear, heard her fucking speak in English yet. Like, she's still on the line with her operator. <laughs> Two weeks. Like, what's like what's going on here? Like, don't get me wrong. It's cool to be on a helicopter with, with, with somebody and do something special with somebody. But it's also like, yo, do I want to have this memory with you? I don't know you. To me, th- those are sacred things. Imagine you look back like, yeah, man, I took a helicopter ride with some bitch. It stole my money, or, or yeah, the pussy was whack, or I, she had a man, or uh, she gave me herpes or the crabs or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what? That's what I'm saying, pimp. I don't know. She's like, I look like the type that would break her heart, and I'm like, how? And and the, the thing is, like, I looked at her, I was like, I'm not like. I'm not soft. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I looked at that in the face and said, I'm not the type of nigga to be lying to you. I'm not going to play this game. Like, you're hot, but I'm not going to play this game to be someone else to get you interested. Nah, this is me. You like it. You like it. If you don't, it sucks for you. You know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, man, that, it's, it's too much too soon. Too much too soon, man. And then everybody goes, oh, life is short. It ain't that fucking short. You know, I'm in my 30s, and I'm looking like, damn, I got 50, 50, 60 more years if I'm lucky. I'm trying to do something myself now, and the last thing I want to do is fucking waste time with somebody who's, who's about wasting time, you know? And, that, and that's another thing. People be like, oh, you know, I wasted time with this person because they lied to me and all that shit. It's like, yeah, shit happens. It, it be like that sometimes. You know? It be like that sometimes. Ain't really much you can do about it, but took the chance. It didn't work out. Take the take the next chance. Just don't be a don't be a sucker. That was one of my rules. I I can't be a sucker. Can't be a sucker. I I'm I'm not gonna lie. I broke my rule a couple times and it didn't pay off. There was no payoff to it. I remember earlier when I said this chick wanted me to buy a dress, I'd have felt like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like if I would have bought the dress, yeah, it could have paid off. But there could have been also a situation where it didn't pay off. And I would have felt like a sucker and I would have been telling you the story. Like, I bought this bitch a dress. I didn't even get to see her in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like nah. To me, I'm like, yo, if I'm going to buy you a dress, I'm going with you. I want to see you in it. I want to see it on the floor and we fuck it. Because at, at this point, <laughs> you know, I'm not your fucking friend. Like, at this point, I'm going to need something in return. You feel me? Like, I'm not doing this shit out of the kindness of my heart. I'm not Shaq, but, like, I'm I'm walking around the store, and this chick's like, damn, man, I really need a dress for, for fucking a wedding or a business meeting, and she's, like, $20 short. And I'm like, yo, here goes the $20. Don't worry, it's on me. You know, I'm just trying to be a good Samaritan. It's, that's not the case. It's like, you you out here, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to build something with you because you, you cute, you cool peoples, and then you doing this shit. It's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't I don't get this. And and LaFlocka, you you could probably verify this shit if 
If your son told you that shit, you'd be like, nah, get the fuck out of here. You ain't buying that bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't buying that bitch shit. Because that, that would you'd be like, nah, this bitch is just using you. No matter how well intended she might be, this bitch is using you. That's, the, that's what's going through the mind of everyone in that situation. That's on side. This bitch is using you. And yeah, like I said, you could you could do it and it could pay you off. I could have like 12 kids right now, whatever the case may be, but it's also like, nah. Nah, I can't. I don't want to build this predicated on that. Because it wouldn't have lasted. It wouldn't have lasted. I got to treat you like this all you want. See? I would drag her and slap some common sense into her. No, seriously, yeah. Like, who the fuck you think you are? Like, how dare you ask that shit? You know? But, um, yeah. And it's, I have no idea where the hype comes in. Like, one excuse I got was like, because the tall guys were jocks in high school. I was a jock. I was on the wrestling team. I would have been on the football team. My grade was allowed to play football. Like, I was, I was a jock. Like, you know, there's no height requirement for the jocks. They don't measure you. And go, well, you can't be a jock because you're not 6'1". You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were short. You know what I'm saying? I agree with everything you say. I want you guys to realize that there are good women out there. It's just hard to find because most women nowadays are on some BS making good women like myself look bad. No, yeah. That's true, too. That's true, too. A lot of them, you got to deal with the backlash of the other shit. You know? Like, there's decent women out there that just, they got to deal with those guys that deal with those women and they turn into those guys because they want those women. And then it's a cycle. But then, you know, it doesn't help that you got guys like fucking the Fresh and Fit podcast or uh, Tate. And, well, not Sam, because he makes, he, he puts his shit clear. He makes his, like, his points crystal clear on who he's talking to. But all the other ones, they're sitting there going, you need to do this, 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 and this. And this is the way you got to be. And it's like, it's false. It's false. You're trying to control a narrative to make yourself look better. And it's fucking it up for everybody else. And, I, and, and we need to take that narrative back. You know what I'm saying? Because no one listens anymore. You know what I'm saying? No one listens to what people are saying. Everyone... They hear key words and then they start talking back. They're not listening to the arguments. They're not listening to shit. You hear Johnny Depp beats Amber Heard. Then you hear Amber Heard lied. Johnny Depp's innocent. That would make up a reason why men shouldn't beat up women. It's like, hold on, wait. The conversation is not about us beating them. It's, it's about her lying about it. Or her abusing the fact that this does happen. And she was trying to get somebody innocent. To be in that vicious cycle of, you know, being a fucking abuser and shit like that. Where is this? Where is this at? You know? And it's, it's, they don't listen. They don't listen to a lot of shit that they're saying. Everything is like, oh, yeah, you got to be this, this, this. Who told you that? And why are you telling me that shit? What do you feel? You know, it's like, when you're talking and you do the whole, yeah, you know, I like tall guys. And you do this and you're looking for the room to agree with you. I don't think that's really how you feel. I don't really think that's how you feel. Like, I could turn around to my boy and be like, I like all shapes and size booties. Big ones, little ones, jiggly ones, tight ones. It don't matter. I appreciate them. And I'm not going to sit there and go, right? I don't give a shit if you like it. That's me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I look at the booty. I was like, damn, that's nice there. That's flat. Like, flat to you is nice to me. But that shit's huge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it, it, I'm not sitting there going, every woman needs to have that fucking fake ass. Everyone needs to have a 36 fucking triple DX box series X size, tit size. You know what I'm saying? And there's plenty of guys that's like, oh, I need women like that. But watch them. They'll get any woman they, they can get. You ever notice that shit? <laughs> the people that are so specific, specific in the type of women that they, they want, take whoever they can get. That's crazy. That's crazy because you're full of shit. I think you're just trying to be socially accepted and, and giving out that those 
key phrases to make it seem like, oh no, look, I'm just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck what y'all like. Go after what you like, but me, I'm more of a person that I need somebody to talk to with a nice smile because I like to make people smile. You ain't got a nice smile. I don't, I don't know. I, it's very rare you find somebody that doesn't have a nice smile, but then again, it's like, it doesn't happen. Wait a minute. Yeah, they don't listen. And everybody says the same shit, too. When you ask an older couple, Yo, what's your secret? What's your secret? And the guy goes, oh, she's always right. That's the secret. That's the secret. Not that she's always right. Compliment each other. That's the secret. When you're, in, when you're out in public, you're supposed to compliment each other. Who wants somebody that's going to make them look like a fool every time they go out? You ever notice that they always ask the guy, how, what, you know, what's the, the secret to this long relationship? And the dude goes, well, she's always right. And then he looks her in the eyes, grabs her hand, and smiles because he knows that he's just giving her a compliment. And she is taking it because they've been together so long that that's probably him going, the secret to, to relationship is to just stop being an idiot and work with each other. But in public, this is my woman. She's always right. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's something that people don't comprehend no more. It, everybody, oh, you got to communicate. You got to communicate. Yeah, well, I'm talking now. How many of y'all listening? Communication is not the problem. It's not the problem. It's the acceptance and the, and, and the understanding of the communication. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can tell you every single thing I'm doing in the day, and it's going to piss me off. It's just one of those, tell me how you feel. It's like, yo, I don't like the fact that you're on the the Friday streams past 12. And, you know, I look forward to those things because that's the only time we got. You know what? You're right. I'll try to do better or some shit like that. Right? Right? That's communication. But then I'm sitting here and I'm going past 12 because we're having a a, a deep discussion. Now it's like, am I the asshole? Or is it just... or can she not, you know, accept the fact that, like, yo, you know what? This guy's putting in some hard work. The shit that he's doing, it goes past because it's interesting and he's trying to put on a show and he's trying to build something. I'm going to have to accept the fact that sometimes it's going to have to go like this. It's not that he wants it to. It's just, it's in order for him to be where he wants to be, I have to allow that to happen, which a compl which compliments me as a, a, a podcaster. But then, you know, if you want to compliment her back, that's when you show the extra effort. Maybe the, the, the next morning you wake up early or you, you know, you do something to, to make her feel special. Like, yes, I know I lasted longer, you know, than I should have, but it's because of this, you know, it, I can't help that, but you're the most important thing to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the comprehension that you need. Not the words. You don't need the comprehension. Oh, okay. What's going on, show? Can you hear me? Joe. Oh, I was muted. What, what your sick ass doing? I'm talking. I'm talking about comprehension and uh, communication in the relationship. What it really is. See for the robots out there. Still got the show language. If you look at your parents and their generation, it was so different. My mom. Met my dad in 1988, and they've been married for 33 years now. I don't think there's no hope for the for us. So, you know, this is where you turn around and you go, "This is the man I'm gonna be." And is this you're gonna find someone that has your morals and can accept you for who you are? It's just it's harder now. But the one thing I learned from my mom was when you <laughs> you save all your fights for when you're in the bedroom. You don't fight in the street because no one needs to know your business. Like I always said, it, my mom made more money than my pops, but my mom always made my pops feel like he was the head of the, you know, the head of the, the household. He worked his ass off. He worked overtime every day. She had food on the table when he came home. You know, she took care of us. She was at every baseball game when he couldn't be, all that other stuff. But it was never a, you ain't shit because you can't do this. It was, it was always a, I'm happy at home. And here goes some food. 
go watch the TV or whatever the case may be. They talk when they talk. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's you know, like that's the thing that I, I think people are lacking is the understanding of each other's situation. Like you can understand. Like look at show. Show is in traffic on his way home, and I understand if he couldn't make it on the show because he's dealing with all that shit. There's no, there's no malice, to, like there's no harshness to him. I would accept it, but he tried his best to come on. You know why he tried his best to come on? Because he knows that I'm not, a, I'm not at a hundred percent. He don't want me to be out here by myself dying because I'm not at a hundred percent. Hell nah, that, I'm, I'm here. Fuck you know that, saying? I'll drown with you. Word. And and that, and that's the that's the thing. It's like if you can understand your friends that way, then you should be able to understand your woman or your partner more than. Them. It's just sometimes frustration. You know, it doesn't allow you to look past all that other shit, and it's very hard to keep looking at the, you know those situations. But still, it's like that's what I think people should be learning when someone at ninety years old turns around and goes, "She's always right." It's a compliment to my woman. You know, you got to hold your woman up on a pedestal, but you don't got to treat her like she's on a pedestal. Does that make sense? You, you heard makes me show her. Yeah, yeah, it makes plenty of sense, brother. Yeah. Treat, treat her like she's on a pedestal, but don't act like she is. No, yeah, whatever. yeah, you know, because it's, it's one of those things that's like no one can be better than the other one, but you got to let the world know that that's your fucking, that's your woman and that's your man. You know, that is that is that one. And and you get that in music back in the day, like the eighties and nineties. You had you know, a different priority when it came to the dating and all that because yeah, yeah, you had players that was having sex with everybody, but you gotta remember that he was in relationships with four or five women. Now you can have sex with whoever you want. You don't even need to know their names. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to put in that game for the security and all that other bullshit. And the women were so mad at you cheating on them is because they thought you was the one that was going to ride or die for them. You was the one. Like, you're making them look stupid. And vice versa. She's making you look stupid. And that's not what the relationship's supposed to be. You know, and nowadays it's like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck y'all want. Y'all looking stupid on your own. So, you looking for somebody to make you look even stupider or what? It's stupid and stupider. Yeah, stupid is the stupid does, Lieutenant Dane. You know? I, I, I don't have no problem. I don't need help being stupid. Trust me. <laughs> I've been stupid most of my life. Word. Yeah. I could be mad stupid on my own. I don't need your help. Yep. And I don't need you to help me look stupid neither, because then that's a problem. Is it, you know, and it's sad to say this, but it's it's almost like there's no more relation. It's almost like um bartering, if that's the, the correct word I'm looking for. It's like, you know, the the trades. Like I wanna I wanna be in a relationship. It doesn't matter who what, when, where, I want to have somebody. And then you, you just pick the first person. Well, I want to have a kid, so you're just going to sleep with whoever's going to give you a kid. And then, you know, you just want to be a mom, a, a dad. And it's like, yeah, I get it, but it's still selfish to the kid. You know? And how are you supposed to... Listen, I, I understand it's a different world. A lot of people are growing up single parents. and But a lot of people growing up single parents, you're not teaching them proper relationship so when they're looking for a relationship what are they looking for they don't know the long term shit so it's okay if they do the short term shit it doesn't matter if I'm with you for five years or six years or some shit or or they do the I don't want to be like my my parent and be alone so you might not be the one for them but they're going to hold on forever I'm not stupid I just love making the worst decisions Hey, I hear you. It's just emotional. That's what it is. That's emotion coming out right there. When you start making those stupid decisions, it's all emotional. But, yeah, that, that's something that people need to start talking about. Fuck all this, you know, social status or 
if you want a bad bitch, you know something? Definition of bad bitch is different for everybody. And I don't know who the fuck you think you are telling me who a bad bitch is and who who's not a bad bitch or who's a guy that's worth it and who's a guy that's not worth it. Like you're gonna sit there and be like, yo, this this bank account number. Uh, that's just true. <laughs> this amount of money in the bank account makes you who you are. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're not gonna tell me that. You're not gonna tell me that. Because then what's the equivalent for the woman? If a man needs to have a certain amount of money, what's the equivalent for a woman? Was it looks? And then and then women be like, oh well, men will fuck anything. Yeah, we would. Because <laughs> it's so difficult sometimes. What's going on, YG? I uh, told you in your mid-30s you got an old soul, bro, because you keep speaking nothing but facts. Hey man, that's the that's me being fortunate enough to grow up with my parents and my uncle and my family members. My mom had me at 41 years old. So I was learning lessons from the 40s and 50s. You know what I'm saying? And with my uncle, the, the, the 60s, you know, the 60s and 70s, and my pops, you know, the 50s and 60s. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm learning lessons from them. You know, shit, you know, when you propose to a woman, because you better mean that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to marry somebody, you better mean that shit. We don't do this bullshit of, oh, you get divorced. No, no. You're going to do it once. So you better make sure that that's the right one for you. You know? And it's always going to be like, and I'm not going to like her. <laughs> the mom's just going to be like, I'm not going to like her. No matter who you bring, I'm not going to like her. Same thing for the pops when, you know, his daughter brings home someone. I'm not going to like him because you got to earn that. And just I don't expect to just walk in somebody somewhere and instantly, the, the, you know, all the respect is there. Sometimes you got to earn people's respect. You know what I'm saying? That was back in the day. It was... You earn people's respects, but they earn yours too. It was a two-way street. Like you went in there with the respect, because the way it was, like the younger person goes in there with all due respect. Like, hey, listen, you be respectful. It's the, it's the thing to do. The, the the older person, you have to earn their their respect. They'll be nice and cordial, but you got to show who you are to people. Now it's you don't have to show me shit. I love you already. And the, yo, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of connect, like a lot of connections that you can make quick. Like when I met Pro and and Kenny and and Lay and Gigi, you know, it, it was instant. It was like, yo, even shows like, yo, y'all cool peoples because it was we came in with the respect of each other. We we got to know each other. We 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 got you know we clicked, and that's what it was. But it doesn't happen everywhere. You can't force people, you know, liking someone or you know them not fitting in. Doesn't mean you gotta be a dick, but you know, it's just sometimes like, yo, this dude's all right, but he's not for me. You know, he's not, I'm, I don't want him in my clique. Keep him at a distance, and whatever the case may be, may be. But now it's like, well, this nigga drinks, so let's do it. Like, what? Because you had your crews. You had your crews and you protected your block and shit. Yeah, man, that's what that's what it was. I, I grew up with an old soul. Like, it was you walk down the street, you don't start no problems, but you don't walk down like a bitch neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I walk down some streets that had bad reputations, and I'm just walking, and you know, I give the head nod to people. I do that. People look at me. I do the what's up? How you doing? I'm just walk, I'm just passing by, and they give me the little head nod like how you doing, and they leave me alone. It's like he's not he's not starting trouble, but he ain't no pussy neither. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the people who act pussy attract these motherfuckers because it's something fun for them. Predators are going to attack someone who's scared. And when you're in those neighborhoods, there are predators. But sometimes when a lion walk past a lion or an elephant walk past a lion that by himself, it's like, what's good, nigga? Chilling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just some, It'd be sometimes that somebody look at you, you look at them, and now you're fighting. No idea why, but you're fighting. I didn't like the way you looked at me. I didn't like the fact that you didn't like the way I looked at you. And it makes perfect sense because that was the vibe. That was how we grew up back in the day. That's how we grew up back in the day. Now, there's no more vibes. It's, it's all fake shit. And, and I got to be on Instagram. I got to compete for likes and all this other shit that mean nothing. It means jack shit. When it comes to payroll and all that, like the views and the subscribes and all that other shit to make money, yeah, it's important. 
but it means jack shit. You think that I'm going to give you a better conversation if there was 200,000 people watching us right now, donating? I can't give you a better conversation because this is what I feel. This is how it is. So this conversation I'm having with y'all is the same conversation I would have if I was, if if the, the Knucklehead Network blasted off and we was in the Joe Rogan status. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't give you any better conversation. I can't, like, maybe we can give you different topics, but this is the way I feel and this is the way it is. You know, so at the end of the day, all that other shit means cool. It, you know, it's cool for, you know, money being in your account and I don't have to go to work <laughs> and I can do this shit all day. But that, but also at the end of the day, it means nothing because the connection I have with y'all and whoever else comes in here means more to me than that. I was going to cancel the show because I wasn't feeling right and show possibly couldn't have made it. But I said, you know what? Even if I go short, even if I do like an hour, let me do something. Because I know there's some of y'all that come in here and they're like, yo, we love the tone the show show. And we want to have this conversation because this is this is where we have these conversations. It's like, I'm sick, but I'm going to go on the porch and talk to my boys. Or I'm going to talk to them through the window because this is the time we have the conversation. Yeah, I can miss it. But I'm not going to. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me, let me be out here and do my thing because of y'all. You know, I knew... Kim was going to be there first, and Flock was going to show up, and Bayou and Walter and Harris, and all y'all people was going to come in, and y'all was going to be here. And if I didn't show up, you'd be like, on Monday, like, yo, what happened, bro? I was like, ah, oh, I didn't, and Kofi. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel well. Terrence, you know, like, everybody that comes in here. And it's like, yeah, and you would understand, but it's still also like, yo, but you know something? Let me do something. Let me do what I can. Because that's the way I am. You know? Do something. And you see show. Show was in traffic. I could I could show you the picture that he sent me. He sent me this picture at like 850. Uh this is him crossing the bridge. Right? That's him crossing the bridge at 850. It takes him two hours to get home. He was like, bro, I'm not gonna make it. And he's like, if I do make it, it's going to be because it's going to be because, you know, I'm going to be mad late. So I hit up Kenny and Pro and everybody else sees they want to come through and uh, participate and all that. And everybody's like, yeah, I'll come on when I get a chance because, you know, they, they're living their lives. Perfect. Fine. I hold it down. But then you see Show hop in there. He's like, I got to do something. I got, even if it's three minutes, I got to let my boy know that if he's going to do it, I'm going to do it. We're going to suffer together. We're going to go through this shit together. And that's why this nigga's a knucklehead. That's why it's the toe in the show show. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do. And that's, that's the type of integrity that people aren't being installed with nowadays. You know, everybody would do it for themselves. But would you do it for, you know, something that's like, would you do it for work? Just because, like, you know what? This is the person I am. It doesn't matter if it's just here. There or anywhere. If I said I was going to do something, I'm going to do it. Now, granted, you're sick. Call out of work. You don't need to be at work when you're sick. But, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's also like, you know, sometimes you got to let, you know, you got to let your integrity do your thing. And that's the problem because no one's talking about that. No one's talking about someone's integrity and no one's, you know, morals. And I'm not talking about just men. I'm talking about men, women, children, and every other thing that you want to identify as. You know what I'm saying? Those are the most important characteristics of a person. That's something we need to be looking into. We need to be raising our kids with, whether you got parents or not. The teacher should be installing that shit into the kids. You know, like, it should be one of those things. Like, I had a teacher that I was absent multiple times, and he told me if I was absent one more time, I'm failing the class. For no reason. It doesn't matter the reason. I asked him, can I take off because my brother's coming home from the Navy? And he goes, no, oh, my brother's leaving for the Navy. Can I take off this day? And he goes, no, you're going to fail. And I said, you know what? That was the agreement I made with you. I can't take off any more days. And you stuck by it. And it shows like this is, you know, I told you I'm not going to miss no more days. And I fucked up. And I couldn't see my brother off, but I didn't miss no more days. And I passed the class. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to do some shitty shit. But that's the person you, if you're going to say this is who you are, then be who you are. 
You know, I should never put myself in that position to begin with. But that's that's what happens. But yeah, that I think that's the conversation we need to be having. Like I, I was listening to these two women talk about Martin Luther King being a good man, but then he cheated on his wife. And I'm sitting there like, what is what is the what is that have to do with anything? Like, what does that business have to do with you? That had not that that business has nothing to do with you. How are you gonna sit there and judge this man on business as personal? Personal business. If his wife is okay with it, what does that mean for you? You don't know him. The only thing you should be concerned about was this man risked his life to get equality in the races, in the civil rights movement. That's the only thing that you, could be, you should be concerned with. Everything else he does in his personal life, unless he's fucking raping babies and doing criminal shit and he just, he fucking used this to cover up shit and everything was a lie. I get it. But in his personal life, if my man was left-handed and put ketchup on fucking tuna fish, what does that care? What does that matter to you? What does that matter? Why are you trying to make him look bad? Like, that right there is stupidity to me. Like, that, that is, the, you don't have any priorities. Because freeing a race of people to become equal, uh, to become equal, is, takes more priority than him having sex with another woman. That's my opinion. But I think that takes more priority. You know, like, what, what are people not going to protest because you slept with another woman? Oh, we can't have equality because you slept with another woman. Sorry, no. You do what you need to do. I want to be able to drink out of any water fountain. Or I want to be able to eat at any restaurant. Stay at any hotel. I don't want to be lynched on my fucking front yard. I don't want to be, you know, hosed down by these hoses and attacked by these dogs. Let's put some priorities in this. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's set the priorities. Sucks for her, but she has to make the decision of leaving him or staying with him. We can't make that decision for her. We're backing him on... Equality. Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I do outside, unless it's illegal or whatever, fuck, it's like, is it your business? Like, do you really need to know what I'm doing outside? Like, I go to the store and I get orange soda instead of a regular soda. Is that something that really people need to know about? Like, nah. There's got to be a private life of everybody. No one's perfect. Well, no one can live up to your standards. Because I don't, that whole no one's perfect shit. You don't know the definition of perfect. Perfect is a made up word. And since everyone's different, no one can be perfect. So everybody's perfect in the way they are. When you're lying to yourself, then you're not perfect. But if you're going to stay true to yourself and be who you decided to be, you're perfect. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you do fucked up shit, but perfect doesn't have to be 100% of the time. Get that shit out your fucking head. Perfect does not have to be 100% of the time. Nah. Like, because you rode the bike or you got 100% on the test, you got a perfect on, score on the test, but you used the wrong pencil, so you're not perfect. Like, no, you still got 100% on the test. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on with this bullshit. You are who you are, and that's good enough for me. Just be who you are. But all that other shit, you're a nosy motherfucker if you're sitting there talking about him, especially after he died for us. How dare you talk about that shit? But, uh, you know, that, that's just an example. You know, mad people, you know, talking shit about Samuel, um, Kevin Samuels after he died because of the way he spoke to women. Sometimes women need to be spoken to like that. People need to be spoken to like that. Especially when you come up to him delusional as fuck and you want to argue with him about your delusions. Someone needs to snap you back into reality. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you go there? If he wasn't so insecure with who you are, you wouldn't seek approval for him. And then you're going to go there and fight based off of your insecurities. And now you're like a dog fixated on something. And he has to nudge you to get you out of that fixation. And that's how he talks to you. He talks to you like that because you're like, how rude. Well, now you're snapping out of that fixation of you need to be right. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. And the thing is, when people, people hear him talk, they only hear the snapping out of the fixation. And they don't hear the fucking the truth. You know? But then they, then they hear somebody that talks and makes up a stupid analogy, but it makes sense. So now, yeah, now they're right. What? What? Listen, bro. I get it. You want to fuck everything that moves. Get money. All right, cool. True. You still need game. And if you're going to fuck everything that moves and you got money, you're going to have, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to be straight up because you can't do that shit. 
there's rules and consequences of everything, every decision you make. So if you're going to play that part of the game, you got to know the rules of that part of the game. You feel me? And and that, and that's the thing. It's like Kevin Samuels is not sitting here trying to teach you how to fuck everything that moves. He's just trying to say if you want to be ahead in life on a social status for men, you're going to have to get money. You're going to have to find a way to get money. And then when you start making money and you become rich and all that other shit, the only other way is beautiful women. But but tells you how to you should be working sixty hours a week. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. If you're not working out, you know, take a, the class. You gotta stand like nobody can fuck with you. He's teaching people how to be men. And he's telling these women, you know, to be realistic. Like it's it's something different. But when you when you're sitting on idiots trying to say what he's saying, or flip it to make it to make them sound better, it it, it doesn't work. Cause it's like you can't sit here and tell me that you're a man of morals and, and all the other shit when you're using women and you're using them just for pussy and you're getting money and all the other shit just to use them because now that's not integrity. You feel me? Like, listen, I have no problem with anybody that's fucking mad women and all that shit, but if you turn around and go, Yo, listen, I'm not looking for nobody. If you want to have some fun, we could do it. But we, we, you know, we fuck. All right, cool. But if you're giving all these women these, these, uh, you know, the, the the perception of being in a relationship with them and then you just using them to fuck. It's like, yo, you, you're an asshole. You're an asshole because you know you're, you know what they want. You became what they want so you could use them for something. This, the same way they're an asshole to you, you're an asshole to them. And it makes it worse because now there's no way that a guy like me could have a shot. There's no way whatsoever a guy like me can have a shot. You know what I'm saying? But a girl like her can always have a shot with a rich dude. Does that make sense? She's going to be passed around by all the rich dudes, but she, like Chris Rock said, you can't step back socially. So if I'm not, if I'm not making money, she's like, you ain't nobody. Fuck you, I ain't nobody. I'm always going to respond to that. You ain't nobody shit, fuck you, because you ain't going to tell me who I am. But anyway, that's the, that's the motive they're going to have. You ain't going to be nobody. But if you broke or you rich, pussy pussy. You feel me? <laughs> that's why it's always going to be, it's going to be harder because they don't understand what they're doing because they think they're right because no one puts them in their place. And I'm talking about both men and women. And then the minute somebody puts them in their place, they don't listen to the part where he's putting men in their place or boys in their place. <laughs> they listen to the part where he's putting women in his place and now he's an asshole. What? I literally watched a fucking uh, podcast of women talking about the PS5, how, why do these men want the PS5 and all that other shit? It's like, why can't we want a PS5? Why can't we want technology that's made by adults, for adults to play fucking video games? Like, what's the problem here? Do you not understand that video games enhances your eye, your eye hand coordination, fixing, like, it also helps you fix problems? Like, it, it gives you fucking critical thinking and all that other shit. Like, there's a lot of, you know, benefits to playing video games, especially, you know, going older. You know what I'm saying? Like, that helps us with memory and all that other shit because there's some games you need to know what's happening because there's no cheat codes for this shit. What is, what's the difference between that $600 game that we're going to be playing, the $600 system that we're going to be playing with for years? I've already had this Xbox for, what, a year, two years, still playing it. And then you have a, a Gucci bag that costs the same shit that you pay that you use for two months. Oh, let me uh, catch up on the chat. Talking about fixation, why are the why are there dudes that do not want to lose their significant other yet they cheat? Because it's easy, it became easy for them. It if you was going out to a fancy restaurant and you was hungry and you seen fucking free hot dogs, wouldn't you turn around with, wouldn't you be tempted to be like, yo, let me get a hot dog? I'm not trying to compare you to food, but sometimes shit gets thrown at dudes and you can have all the self-control in the world, but some, sometimes your shit gets the best of you. Is it, is it right? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's what it is. They don't want, and also sometimes dudes are afraid of being locked down because they don't know if they're making the right choice when it comes to the woman they're with. They know that it's comfortable for them, but they don't know if this is the right one. Because, you know, comfortability is, 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 is easy, but easy scary to us because we got to work hard for a lot of shit. So it's like, 
I don't know. Is she the one? Let me, let me see. And then you start doing all this other stuff. And it's mostly like you, you're fucking all these other women just to test them. Like, yeah, this bitch is an airhead. She got a good pussy, but, you know, she's, this ain't the one. And it's like, all right, this one's looking the best at all of them. Is it right? No. But the way that, the, the, the way that society's molding us nowadays, that's the way that people do it. Because that never happened back in the day when I was growing up. If you was really with somebody that you really said that you loved and you was with, if you cheated on with them, if you cheated on them, it was over. It was over. There was no, oh, I'll take you back seven times. No, it was over. Maybe, if not the first time, the second time, it's over. And after the first time, you lost all their trust. No matter how much they accepted it, you lost all their trust. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, it's like, oh, well, he got good dick and he got money, so it doesn't matter how many bitches he sleep with. That's your fault. It should matter. He should only be with you. The same way how guys say you can't cheat on them is because we're holding the standard to y'all. You should hold the same standard. And be ready to leave when you when they don't meet the standard. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. A lot of y'all don't leave when they meet the, when they when you don't meet the standard. Okay, good night. Okay, good night, yeah. Joe. My bad, I hit the wrong button. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is. They don't teach no none of these standards. They teach as long as you got what you want, fuck it. It's all right. Just make him buy you something. No. You're selling your soul. You're selling your soul for what? You're going to be miserable. You're going to be miserable. And then you're going to be stuck in a situation where he's like, I can't leave. Because I got this, 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 and I can't get this without him. But, you, but your standards are done. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. And you can't hide. You can't hide this shit. Once you're miserable with somebody, you're always going to be miserable. You can't fool me. You can't fool life. As much as you want to fake and all this other shit, you know in the back of your head, you can't trust this nigga. You're always going to be jealous of whoever he's talking to, vice versa. And it's always going to be something. That's always going to be... That, there's always going to be a straw that's going to break the camel's back and then and then what? You have to rebuild the camel. And the camel's going to keep getting weaker. It's not a bone, it's straws. You know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to choose the life of misery. And then you got the independent women. I don't need no man. All right, cool. But stop acting like, you know, <laughs> we ain't shit. Because you can sit there and be like, yo, I got a good job. I don't need a man. But all right, cool. But we interested in you. Maybe you don't need us, but it'll be fun to have somebody. Because then you're going to grow up all grumpy and old. And the next thing you know, you missed out on shit and you're doing stupid shit. And, and then what? You, don't, you never lived your life because you're fucking jaded. You know, it's like, yo, take your head out your ass and, and let's figure it out. And this dude's like that, too. You know, like I, I learned how to cook from my pops and my mom's like just because it's one of those like. Just in case, if you don't have a woman, you can survive. <laughs> but I'm not sitting here going, oh, I could I can take care of myself. I don't need a woman. I'm not also saying I need a woman, but it's like if I can find a good one, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I can find a good one, I'll take it. Because I'm at the point in my life where it's like, if you want to fuck, that's fine. But, you know, if you're going to try to be something more, like, because a lot of, like I said it earlier, a lot of women want to be something more quick. You want to be, try to, if you want to try to be something more than just a relationship or just a, a fuck buddy, then you're going to have to seriously get to know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to seriously get to know me. We're going to have to get to know each other because I want to be able to trust you. Trust is not something that, that you can just give to somebody. Well, you can give it to somebody, but. Once they lose it, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could choose to keep trusting them, but once you know that this person's always going to do this, is always going to do that, it's like, this this woman's always going to cheat on me, or she's always going to treat me like shit when this is like, why I put myself in? Or it's like, she only wants this. It doesn't matter who she's with. Like, like, she only wants to go out to this restaurant and eat. It doesn't matter who took her. So why it doesn't have to be me. I want to be that. I want to be special. I want to be the guy that's like, it doesn't matter where we go as long as I'm with you. I don't want to be the, it doesn't matter who takes me as long as I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, and that's the crazy shit now. Cause I can have a fucking, I've done it. I've had plenty of fucking awesome times in the fucking parking lot of someplace having a ham sandwich, you know, or just chilling, talking. 
to me, I think that's more more valuable than we can go to the movies. All right. I mean, if we knew each other for years and we went to the movies, that cool. Or if if we cool people's and we all we both want to see, it's like fuck it, let's let's go see it. Let's both experience something that we wanted to. But if I'm trying to get to know you, there's no point to be in the movies. No point to be in the movies. You know. But listen, I think those, these are the conversations we need to have, and it's not only with the children, but it's also with the fucking adults. Because the priorities have shifted dramatically. Everybody's talking about marriage as a contract. If you went into marriage as a contract or as the possibility of divorce, guess what? Not for you. Not for you. And not for you. Like I said, if if I was with a rich woman and she wanted me to sign a prenup, if I really gave, if I really cared about her and I really said, you know what, we can marry each other, I'll sign a prenup because I want to be with you. I don't want to be with your mother. You know what I'm saying? So when people get mad, like ah, blah, 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 it's like, hold on, wait. So you, you're, you're you're prioritizing my money over me, or vice versa. Hold on, maybe you not you might not be for me. You know what I'm saying? Because some people want to protect themselves because they're not. This is the final test to see if you really about that life. And you failed it miserably the minute you started getting mad. You know what I'm saying? You failed it miserably. Because, like, what's the point? If you really love somebody, what's that paper mean? You know? I remember one time this woman was talking to my mom. And she's like, how long you been going out with this? Ten years. She goes, you're not married yet? He goes, no, he's like, you ain't never gonna get married for me. I'm sorry. He's never gonna marry you. And she looked at my mom like, what? He's like, yeah, he ain't proposed yet. You ain't the one for him. <laughs> like a year, two years later, they broke up. But but it's true though. It's like you you know what you want. Some people, marriage is a touchy subject. They don't want to get married. I get it. That's cool, but that's a conversation you need to have with somebody. That, yeah, being married doesn't make you better than being in a relationship, like if, if a married couple was sitting next to a couple that was just boyfriend and girlfriend, they didn't have the papers, it don't make them better. But, you know, that's something people find, still find that sacred. You know, that's that next step of being one with each other. You know, this is my person. This I chose you to live the rest of my life with because that's what it was supposed to be. But, you know, you still could do that without the paper, but, you know, it doesn't make you better. It doesn't make you know, worse because Boyfriend and girlfriend is like, hey, if both of y'all don't want to get married, you don't want to do that shit, then that's up to you. No power to you. Make decision to say you live with it. It's like some people don't want to have kids. I get it. I get it. And you have those people that have kids, but they're like, yo, you need to have kids. It's like, nah. But but then again, when the person that doesn't want kids has kids, you know they're going to do everything they need to do to be a good parent to that kid. So it's just, you don't know what you want until so you, you have it or you don't. But but still, it's like I think we need to stop teaching these these people be by yourself. Your friends are haters, or tell people you know tell somebody good news that really appreciates it. Or if they don't care about it, fuck them. It's none of your business what people care about. You know if what people think about you is none of your business. If I have good news and I told somebody a stranger out of the blue, they're not gonna care. But you know what? I care. If I care enough to tell to talk. To tell you, then that's good enough for me. That's it. I don't care if there's haters. Hate all you want. Anybody can say anything they want about this. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. I care. That's the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? And now if somebody genuinely cares about your happiness, that's awesome. And that's beautiful. And that's where the connection comes in and all that other shit. But that's not something you still need to be like, like, all right, let me tell them something. And you know, fucking stalk him. Like, oh, he doesn't give a shit that I painted my walls blue. No one gives a shit that you painted your walls blue. If you give a shit that you painted your walls blue, good for you. Good for you. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, they got you gotta stop this whole weak-minded shit and everybody's trying to tell you that you ain't shit because you ain't worked out this morning. That's another thing. I ran for 52 miles this morning. Good for you. I ain't shit because I ain't run 52 miles this morning. Motherfucker, I'm happy I woke up. 
I'm happy I woke up on time and got to work on time this morning. You want to do what you want to do, beautiful. Don't force me to do what you want to do. My standards, I can, I'm not going to live up to your standards because your standards and my standards are two different things. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say that somebody doesn't genuinely have no energy? You know, because there's a difference between not having time and not having that mental energy. Like, oh, just all you got to do is go to the gym. Yeah, that's, that's all you got to do, right? Sometimes that's all you got to do is the hardest thing to do. And you can make all the excuses you want about, no, it's not. It's just, you know, you're lazy. Beautiful. Yeah, you're lazy. You're lazy. This coming from the guy that makes enough money that he can wake up and do whatever the fuck he wants. He's going to tell the person that just worked eight hours and with transportation to work and back had a total of about 14 hours of their day outside doing shit they didn't want to do to make money that's not sufficient enough to take care of themselves. And you're telling them they're a piece of shit because they don't have time to work out. What? I think they earned the fact. I think they earned the right to sit down and watch TV. That's me. I think you have no excuse to work out if you're making passive income and you're just sitting there being lazy as fuck. You have all the time in the world. You have no excuse. But for the people that are working, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12 hours a day, they don't have the mental energy to fucking eat <clears throat> when they get home. Don't, don't give them shit. Don't tell them shit about they're lazy. Fuck you. They earned the right to come home, take a shower, and watch fucking Love and Hip Hop, whatever the fuck they want, or wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know these people. And just because you think that what you did was, was hard, you know, it, it still doesn't give you the right to judge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. You can't, you can't keep other people into your standards because we're not playing the same field. We're not playing the same field. If everyone had the same lifestyle as these fucking people that literally can wake up and work out for three hours, not have to worry about going to work, they can work out for three hours, and they can make their breakfast. They have a chef making whatever food they want. They're living in a house with all this tech shit. They got a car. Fucking, they don't have to worry about gas. And they can do whatever the fuck they want. Then you can call them lazy for not doing shit. But even then, they're making money, so they have the right to not do shit. But it's not an even playing field. That's like me telling somebody in school that didn't have money to buy books and, and is asking for paper, oh, well, you're just lazy because, you, you know, you could have stole water from the store and, you know, sold it for $3 and bought a pack of paper. No. No. You shouldn't have to do that. Here you go, man. Stop looking down on people because you're, you're trying to act like, oh, it's easy for you guys to be distracted while I'm living the life. All you want my lifestyle, so I'm going to tell you how to do it. I don't believe y'all to begin with because not one person have, not one person that you're teaching is in your level. You ever seen that shit? You ever seen someone go, oh, if you take this course, you, you'll you make money. And then the dude that's, that's making money has millions of dollars, Bugattis, mansions, all other shit, but the dudes that are in that course has a decent lifestyle. You know, a nice home, one, two cars, nice family, you know, living with the white picket fence and all that shit, but they're nowhere near where you at. So what'd you teach him? You basically got him doing the same work that if he wasn't to school for. If he went to school and got a degree, he could have did the same shit he's doing. And who's to say that what he's doing, he loves? And then, to top it off, after he's doing what he's doing for you, you're going to sit there and say, well, if you don't work out, then you're lazy. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I lazy? Because I'm fucking working a full fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like me saying, yo, show you lazy because you don't go home and work out. Like, my man, it, he works, but almost 13 hours a day and then takes two hours to get home. It'll, like, I'm surprised. Like, he'll probably be just getting home now or within the next 30, 40 minutes because that's how much traffic is. And then what I'm going to say? 15 minutes, just go, go on the treadmill. Like, nah, nigga, I want to go sleep. The, the longer he's up, the less he gets to sleep. And guess what? I don't know if anybody knows this. But the most important part of working out is recovery. And you know when you recover? Sleeping. I don't know if anybody taught you that. You know, the replenishment of nutrition and sleep is the recovery of the body. And that's where the most important part of the workout comes in. You can sit there and work out for 18 hours a day. But if you're not getting a sufficient amount of sleep or a sufficient amount of calories... You're not doing nothing. You're not giving your body the chance to heal. And if you're not healing, you can't grow. Same thing as in life. You don't give yourself a chance to heal when a dramatic incident happens. You can't grow. And progression is, the, is, is what they say leads to happiness. 
which it could be if you're if you're goal oriented. If you're goal if you're a goal oriented person, progression leads to happiness. But sometimes calm and peace leads to happiness. You know how many people literally just want to be able to stand in one spot and look at their family or their friends and be like, "Yep, this is where happiness comes in." You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you're you're sitting there at the family reunion or at a at a at a birthday party, and you're sitting there, you're just looking like, "Yo, my whole family's here," and like you sit there, and like everybody's acting the same, but you get a chance, like, "Yep, that's my family." That could be happiness, and it has nothing to do with progression. Nothing to do with progression. So, take what these people say with a grain of salt. Remember, believe half of what believe half of what you see, and none of what you hear. Everybody's believing everything of what you hear. Motivation works, but you cannot live through that shit like it's the Bible. You can't live with that shit like if it's, you know, the word of God. You have to take everything through your own uh, interpretation of it. And, and, that, and that's, that's something I learned. It's like, because I'm not going to live my life based off of you and your, your point of views. Because to me, it doesn't make sense. Yes. You run every day, 18 miles a day in the morning. Beautiful. I'm not going to do that. Straight out like that. I don't run. I get shin splints. My knees hurt. I got a fucked up back. I'm not running. So if you pride yourself in running and you think you're a badass motherfucker because you can run, beautiful. But that has nothing to do with me. And I should not have to live up to your fucking standards. If you wake up in the morning and work out for three hours, that's beautiful. When I wake up in the morning, I got 20 minutes to take a shower and go to work. You find me the three hours in the morning to work out. Oh, wake up earlier. If I wake up early enough to work out for three hours, that means I didn't go to sleep the night before. Get that shit. That means I didn't go to sleep the night before. So if I'm going to not sleep forever so I can work out every day for three hours in the morning and then go to work, I'm going to kill myself. And then you're going to be happy? Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't want, you don't know me. Like, you don't even know who the fuck I am. <laughs> so you're talking to people and you're going to sit there and you're going to expect them to do it. But they're going to think that, oh, well, he said to do it and you physically can't do it. You don't have the time. You don't have the, the whatever the fuck. You need to change your life before you can start doing all this shit that he did. But he don't know that. But you're going to take his word for God. Like, come on, man. You can't do it the way that people do it. You can walk down a shovel fucking street, but when it's time to make your own path, you got to shovel it. You got to shovel the path. And the way you do it is the way you do it. It's, it's may, there may be easier ways to do it or better ways to do it. And you learn that throughout life. It's, those are the experiences that you, that you live with. But you can't be expecting other people to shovel that path for you because you're going to have to pay for it. Shit don't come for free. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's, that's where these kids ain't learning shit. Like You got to pay your dues. And, and I get it now. And the fucking senior where I'm at. It's like I paid my dues where I'm at. I could do what I can I I could do what I do. Some you know, you gotta earn the right to do some shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you've been where you're at for a long time, you see new people trying to do shit, it's like, oh no, 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 no. You gotta earn this. And then you learn, like, that's where it comes from. It's it's you know, it's it's the fact that I know how to do my job and I'm I've put it so like I could take I could do this here and there because this is where I learned. When you just starting out, you got to pay your dues. You got to get those experiences. You got to do things wrong in order to get it right. It, you can't do everything right the first time. You can't. And if you do, half of it was wrong. Somebody else took care of it for you. I'm, I guarantee you. Somebody else took care of it because they, they don't want to spend the time to show you something because you probably showed them that you can't learn. That's the only reason why I know people don't want to show you shit because it's like, all the way. It's in, it, you said something to convince them that you ain't gonna learn from them. So it's like, you know, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not gonna waste my breath. This is wrong. Let me fix it. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about my job being fucked up because you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but, you know, have some humility. Have some fucking self-respect. And stop with this whole bullshit of, I need somebody like this. Like, because you never hear anybody say anything about morals or integrity. Or, you know, common sense when it comes to describing that perfect person. Everywhere you watch a show, like, yo, describe your perfect person. 
He has to be this tall. He got to make this amount of money. He want to have kids. He got to want to get married. He got to love Jesus. And uh, he want to, he got to pay for every date. You know how many, <laughs> you know how many people fit in that category? But they're also going to cheat on you. They're also going to fucking <laughs> treat you like shit. They're also going to beat you. They're also going to use you. They're also never going to fucking give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, never do you turn around and go, I need a woman that, that knows how to have a conversation. Someone I can trust with my, my insecurities. And someone that I know that when shit hits the fan, they got my back. You never hear that. Describe the perfect person to me. Never hear that. Why? Do you think that's just going to come in the package of the height and the money? No, it doesn't. That shit you got to earn. That shit, that's what you should be looking for. Height has nothing to do with height. Money have nothing to do with the way people are and who people are. This is and and I know everybody's like, "Well, what's his obsession with height?" Yo, listen, I have no problem with me being short. It's 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 a joke that I I tell people just because I am short. It's like it's obvious. It's the elephant in the room. I get it. But I'm also not gonna sit here and let you think that you're better than me because I'm short. Because that's not the case. That's not the case. There's never been an incident where you're better than me because I'm. Sorry, I cannot allow that. And I can't allow anybody else to be like, well, this guy's better than you because he has money. Nope. Nope. Because I know somebody that be bored, bored out of their, their life, have all the money in the world, but then have fun with me and me and got shit. You know what I'm saying? You take a walk down the street and get to know each other. It'll be the best date you got. But then you go to a restaurant, eat caviar and lobster and all that other shit, but the dude wants to fuck at the end. He's like, oh, he fucked it up. What? What? You see? You see what I'm saying? The people are being taught the wrong thing. There's no more common sense. No one knows how to use elevators or or walk the street anymore. There's no more like no one is being taught how to be a human being anymore. And and there's a lot uh, yo, I'm getting a lot of complaints about that shit. People leaving, getting out of the elevator, but standing in front of the door and the doors are closing. Like, nigga, I'm trying to, just now, this, uh, this afternoon, I'm trying to get off the bus. This lady sitting, this, this woman sitting next to me, she looked good. You know, this, that's for the record. She looked good. I'll be. And I said, oh, shit, excuse me. And she, like, did this. And I'm like, no, I need you to move. Like, excuse me. And she didn't want to move. So I pushed her out of the way. And then I pushed two other people out of the way. And then somebody got in my way and I pushed him out the way and I got the fucking, I got out the, the bus going, thank you to the one person that moved out of my way when she was trying to get in. And I didn't give a fuck about the other ones because it's like, yo, excuse me is a word. And that's meant to be like, yo, I'm trying to get out. Can you move? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you do. The, oh, my bad. If you don't want to move, I'm getting out of the bus. I'm getting out of the bus. Back in the day, if you'd have been like, yo, excuse me. And they didn't hear you. Somebody else would have tapped you. I'm like, yo, he's trying to get out. Nah, everybody in for themselves. And that's where you live in chaos. Like, wh what's going on here that no one taught you? One, put your fucking book bag down on the bus. And also, no one no one taught you the rules of how to get on and off a fucking bus or, a, or elevator or a fucking street? Like, you do know that there's more than one person living on this fucking planet. Like, there's no, there's no fucking snap. Everybody's fixated on some shit. They're, all, they're on their fucking phones. It's like, yo, I, I said good morning to somebody. And she looked at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, it's fucking nine o'clock in the morning. Why are you why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? We're in a fucking elevator together. You're making this shit awkward. Like I'm I'm wearing my fucking uniform and I got my ID out. I'm not a stranger here. And I'm awkward. I feel awkward as shit because you you fucking making it seem like I'm I've been following you since you got home last night. Like, nah. Just like what me and Kaz was talking about that um a couple weeks ago. It's like, nah, yo, dude. The first priority I got is to let you know that it's safe. I'm not here to do nothing to you. I'm just trying to get off my floor. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but it's like, yo, no one has that. And then you'll see the older people. You'll sit there and be like, good morning. And they'll tell you good morning back. Because they were raised. When someone says good morning, it's polite to say it back. Or when you go, yo, have a nice day. You too. It's polite to respond to people. These kids nowadays, have a good day. No, no, no. Fuck you. You know, it's like, it's like, really. It's like, come on. Get the shit. And then you're supposed, I'm supposed to believe you're better than me because you got money? I don't even do the whole shit. You're better than me because you're, you're a manager or 
or a boss or the owner. Nah. Listen, I know the hierarchy of what's going on. And I'm supposed to follow your, like, I'm supposed to do what you tell me to do when it comes to the job. And I'll give you that respect. But the minute you start acting like I ain't nobody, like I'm a slave or a servant, there's a problem. There's a problem here. There's a real big problem. That's not happening. I am not a servant. I didn't sign up to be a servant. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to treat me like I'm some like I'm some garbage. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. I'm a human being first. Human being first. And, every, and now everybody's a fucking zombie on their fucking phone. Everybody is zombie on their phone. Yo, I, I got caught up in the whole view shit with the reels. Because I was like, yo, we got 2,000 views on this one. We got like 800 views on this one. And then I stopped looking at the views and I'm noticing it was like two, 300 or whatever, but there's mad comments. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, man. I make what I make. If people see it, they don't see it. I don't give a shit. I can't control who sees it or not. And that whole algorithm shit, that's meant for people to, to be obsessed with their phone. They're literally favoritizing people who spend the most time on their app and people are breaking that code and I can't be one of them. I can't be one of those people. I got, I enjoy shit. Just like I told like, I don't do live reviews on the pay-per-views because if I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to watch it on my couch. I'm going to watch, you know, watch my chips. I don't want to be disrupted. I don't want to be dis- disrupted. If I see some shit that's fucked up, you're going to catch it on the next podcast. But other than that, I'm not going to, like, I do Raw because Raw sucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you don't see me doing fucking, uh, what's going on? Up, uh, what's going on off the top rope? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see me doing the UFC pay-per-views or anything like that or, like, the sports games. Oh, well, not, like, the Super Bowl. Because that's something I want to enjoy. I'm not saying I can't enjoy when I'm doing the, the podcast, but it's like, nah. To me, enjoyment is on my couch, in the comfort of my own home, no shirt on, eating my chips. I ain't got to worry about copyright issues and all that other bullshit. You know? That's, that's what I... I like to enjoy that shit. So, when I get food, I eat. <laughs> like I get on the table, I have my drink, and I I eat that shit. I'm not gonna fucking rush nothing. But if I'm at an event, I'm not, you you don't you see pictures of the beginning, but have, y'all don't have no videos of any match when I went to the Grand Slam shit in uh, Arthur Ashe Stadium for fucking AEW. There's no videos of matches. You got the countdown of when it started, but other than that, I was enjoying the show because I paid all that money to go watch it. I didn't pay all that money to fucking. Yo, come on, uh, Kenny. You don't need no shirt. Shit. We do it. We do it fucking, you know. We keep it funky over here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Now, if I went there for the purpose to do it, like if we all sat there and like, yo, we're going to get tickets for the show and we're going to record it and we're going to do a live broadcast and we're going to do this. Beautiful. That's the plan. That's the reason why I'm there. But I bought the tickets to enjoy the shit. So I'm not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went over Show's house the other day. We did a one-shot, which I, I got to edit. It's four hours long. It's a D&D game. We had fun doing it. And we went there for the purpose to record it. If we went there to chill, none of the pro- none of this stuff would have would have came with me. We would have went there. We would have chilled. We would have ate. We would have did all that shit. We would have been, you know, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the way I am. You know, it's like, we're going to chill. Sometimes, like, I'll bring stuff just in case. If you want to do stuff, stupid stuff to fill the time up and all that. But, like, most of the time, it's like, it's here for family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I enjoy this shit, and that's what I want. I want enjoyment. Because, like I said, like, people talking about progression is, but happiness is not. Nah, happiness is what, what you make of it. So my happiness is being able to sit back and seeing my people enjoy themselves. You know, see them, you know, that's where I find my happiness. Being with my family and my people. Or, like, just being able to be like, yo... I'm chilling right now. I ain't got to worry about nothing. That's where the happiness. I can watch The Miz and Mrs., which, Kenny, I'm up to season three right now. And, yo, not for nothing. It's a good show. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's where I that's where I find my shit. Granted, do I want to have big house and all these cars? Yeah, that's this whole other shit. But am I going to die going, damn, man, I wish I would have bought a fucking mansion for, for fucking $52 million because that would have made me feel a certain type of way? Nah. Nah. But being able to enjoy the little things you can, then that's I think that that's what you need to go for. But they don't teach these these things to these kids anymore. You know, like 
the, the teenage generation and the 20 somethings, the generation after us and the generation that they're raising ain't really learning this shit. They're not. You can tell. It's, everything is about the quick fame. Like, I, I would never forget these two thoughts. They got to be about 14, 15 years old, walking the street, dropping bottles on the floor, water bottles. Like, I'm like, yo, dude, this is the neighborhood. Even if you're not from here, have respect for somebody's fucking neighborhood. Throw that shit in the garbage. And then you're going to pick up your phone and you're going to act like you're on live or whatever the fuck. It's like, honey, knock that shit up. Like, that, that's not a good look for you. It's not a good look for you. You're, you're, you're parading yourself as a piece of meat. And that's how people are going to treat you. Then they wonder why it's like, oh, so many dudes are in my DMs because you got a fat ass. You got a fat ass. And I want to fuck you. That's why we're in your DMs. There is no one in there going, I love your personality. Because we all know that's fake anyway. We all know that you took 30 minutes to set up that fucking one minute video. Because we all have done it. If, you've, if you're a content creator, you know what I'm talking about. Off the Top Road Podcast, Kenny. The call up, Kofi Weeson. You know what I'm talking about? The setup for the one minute thing. You know, that shit takes a while. You know damn well that's not your personality. We all, like, and if you don't know that, then sorry. It's, it, it's fake. What they're presenting, yeah, they may be cool people. But what they're presenting is, is already premeditated. It's premeditated. They already know what they want to say. They already, like, I'm talking off the cusp right now. But I knew, <coughs> but I knew when I came on here, I was going to try to be myself. I didn't think I was going to last this long. But I knew I was gonna be myself, and I was just whatever happens happens. I was just I got a BS and BS, so that's why I'm talking, and it's just, it's lasting two hours of me talking. I hope this is a good show, you know. I hope I'm I hope I'm not boring y'all to death, and you know, I'm I'm I hope I'm holding it down, you know. That show's not here, but you know what I'm saying. It's like it, it's it's crazy, man. You know that whole there's no such thing as winners and losers. Yeah, when you're competing, there has to be a winner and a loser. Because then what are you competing for? Like, that's, that's the problem. What are you competing for? You can't all win. And if you win, that just means you're better than the people you face. If you lose, then that, you should learn from something. You're either winning or you're, or you're learning. But you still have to lose. You still have to go through those failures to learn why you failed and to, and to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do things wrong until you get it right, and then you do it right. Right? So what's going on here? We're going to teach these kids how to play. Okay, cool. Don't put them on teams. If you're going to teach these kids how to play baseball, don't put them on teams. Put them in positions. Have each kid hit the ball five times and go run the first base, and we're going to run through the, we're going to run through the situations, and I'm going to teach you what to do in every situation. And when you get to the point where you people know how to play baseball, these kids know how to play baseball. We don't have to babysit them on the field. Now, they're old enough to be on teams. We'll pick the teams. And now we're going to play baseball. This team won. This team lost. And it, it's the, 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 the job of the adults, the coaches, the parents, and everyone else that's, that's old enough to understand to teach these kids what winning, and what, win, what winning and losing entails. Because guess what? These kids are fucking... <clears throat> they're learning machines. So you have to teach them. They don't come already knowing shit. Like, you have to put in the codes in their brain for them to learn shit. You got to teach them things. So you teach them you lost because of this, because of this one play. So if you practice this, <clears throat> hopefully the next time this happens, you'll be better prepared for it. Or, you know, you struck out because you didn't have your eye on the ball. If everyone's a winner... You didn't strike out. You just didn't get on base. Like, like, there's nothing to learn from there. And even when you win, like, I'm pretty sure if you broke down the way Golden State played yesterday, you can get better at it. But everybody's like, well, they won. Who gives a shit? No, 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 no. If you, this is where winning and losing comes in. Because if you really want to be a winner and you want to repeat next year, you got to learn from the mistakes even when you're winning. Because someone's going to exploit that. It's like fighting. You can't throw a jab and drop your hands because even though you're fast enough to recover, someone's going to catch you. Someone's going to get that timing. You throw the jab, it got to come back to where it is to protect you. If you drill the jab and drop your hand, you're open. doesn't matter how many times you fought like that. Someone's going to catch you. And then you got to learn to keep your hand up so no one else can catch you. You know what I'm saying? This is the benefits of teaching shit. 
And we got to also stop this whole bullshit of these sets of years, you need a, a degree, but these sets of years, you need experience. No. It's either we need a degree or we need experience. You can't have both. Unless I got 20 years of experience and I go back and get a degree. At that point, the degree is just a piece of paper. Because you're going to learn nothing. You're going to learn useless information when you go to school for a job you've been doing for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to school. as I went to a vocational school to work on cars. I went to a vocational college to work on cars. The only thing I ever learned that, that, that I kept my information, that the, one, the best place I've learned was at an actual car dealership working on cars. When I was actually working on the cars in the dealership, making those mistakes, that's when I learned how to fucking work on cars. Not when I was on school, when everything was set and it was made for you to, to do this so they're telling you the answers and like how many PSI are in a tie. It doesn't, give, it doesn't matter. The census for that shit. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. The real world experience. Why is this tire deflating? There's no nail in it. So you go to the school, like, well, you got to figure it out. You go to work, the dude's like, yo, there's no nail in the tire. Put that shit in water. Why? If you see bubbles, that's where it's coming from. That's where the air is coming from. We don't have time to sit here and do all this other bullshit, the theory shit. We're going to get this. We're going to figure out the problem as quick as we can. And that's how you fucking learn. You know what I'm saying? I stepped out for a while. What are we talking about? Yo, Pimp, I can't tell you what we're talking about, to be honest with you. I'm rambling, so I'm going from one subject to another subject, but right now I'm, we're talking about teaching the kids the values of winning and losing. Uh, everything equals life sounds so complicated. I just want to eat and become a beach bum. Hey, and if that makes if that makes you happy, then that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you work, so that way you can take the time that you have off to go to the beach and eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to be a fucking multi-millionaire to be... If you're happy at the beach eating, you're happy at the beach eating. Who the fuck is... Who the fuck is someone to tell you that that's not happiness? Fuck you. That's your happiness. You're happy. There's plenty of people that go to the beach with you. I know you look familiar. You worked at a... At Pet Boys in the Bronx. You messed up my brakes. Yeah, fuck you, Kenny. I knew I knew who you was before. I did that shit on purpose. Done. It's funny, because I had... um, I, I went to Alfred E. Smith, so I had two years of experience... So when you work, uh, when you when you're at a school, every two years of school training you you get is equivalent to one year of actual hands-on ex experience. So when I tell you I had two years of experience through high school, is because at all four years I went to I was learning how to work on cars, so I had technically two years of experience there. Then I had another two years of experience. I had another year of experience through college because I went to two year college, and then I had two and a half years of actual experience working at Toyota. So I had. Five, five, and six, five or six years of experience working on cars. And the most I've ever learned was from those two and a half years working on cars at the Toyota. And, I, and with all that experience, I had an ASC as an electrical circuit diagnostic and repair. What? And I had my uh, license as a, to, to, to treat up to five pounds of AC coolant to, to fix your, your AC and to work with the coolant. I had that license and I had my inspector's license. And I went to like five or six different automotive shops and I didn't get one call back. Stupid. Word. Now get out. What's going on, show? What's going on, my brother? We finally here. Word. Uh, and you know... <laughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. No, no, I was going to say, and you know what, man? <laughs> I appreciate you coming in. I know you said it was going to be late and I was trying to hold it down. I was, I'm hoping I did the... The the podcast good. I hope people was enjoying it. My man Show came up in here. Yeah, listen. That's that's for show. Let me let me take care of it in the next two hours. You go to sleep. I got I got the who who's here? Who who needs attention? Everybody said well, Kenny's here, Pimp's here, LaFlock is here. We're talking about the benefits of teaching these kids winning and losing. And I got up to that part. I was also talking about having integrity and and teaching, um teaching priorities. The winning and losing, you said? Yeah, the, like the importance of you know how to win and how to lose. That's crazy. How to how to learn from that shit. Your topic aligns with what something I was listening to earlier from somebody else's podcast. All right, give me give me a second, show. I gotta blow my nose. I want right, to take your time. Take your time. Yeah, yeah. So your topic aligns uh, with something that I was hearing, and I wanted to ask the, the people out there. Um, 
Do y'all feel what I heard was from another podcast that the guy said basically bullies and him getting bullied actually made him the man that he was instead of actually doing what it does to the kids now and making them go crazy and uh, their emotions going haywire. Like he said, basically the bullies made him tougher. Like he had two guys that used to bully him and always call him names and basically bully him while they used to play basketball. And basically the bullying used to make him want to be better. I want to get to be better so that I could show these kids that what they're saying is bullshit. So he basically, he basically was saying that the bully helped, bullying helped him. And that's something I wanted to talk about to see if you guys agreed with him or maybe he was just talking out his ass. Because I, I agree with him on my level. And like he said, there's different types of bullying. So I'm not saying that all bullying is correct. But it does make you tougher. It's it's life. There's you hit bumps in the road, especially now as an adult. Now that you grow up and you look back as when when you was a kid, you're like everything that was going on then is basically happening now. It's just on a grander on a grander stage, basically as an adult. You're dealing with other adults that are going to be your boss and bullying. And you know how many supervisors and bosses are probably bullied you. And you as a kid having that torment helped you grow a little tough so that you could survive as an adult. Now, I'm only going to talk from my experience because I don't want to talk to anybody else's experience. Like I said, there's people out there that have been bullied. I've heard of people committing suicide. I've heard of people taking it totally different than I did. But I never was truly truly bullied because I was always a chubby kid and nobody really messed with me because I was usually bigger than everybody uh, mass wise you know a lot of people were taller they were skinny I could I'm, I was a wrecking ball I could just throw my fat ass at your legs and it would be a problem I'd break your legs but anyways so I really I really wasn't bullied per se I did watch it I'm not gonna lie. I did. I did see other people get bullied. Um, I'm not gonna say that I didn't have people that tried because everybody, I think, growing up in junior high school, tries you. But everybody gets tried. I don't think. I don't think no kid makes it out of junior high school and high school unscathed from from that one person that's that has nothing better to do than to bother you. Now, the question to you guys is, do you feel that the bullying you received as a kid helped you as an adult? Like, did it help you mold into the person that you are now? Are you, did it make you worse? You know, some people might have took it wrong. Maybe you, you know, he hurt, the person hurt your feelings to the point that you, to this day, still feel hurt. There's a lot of people that hurt. A lot of people take a lot of different things differently so i was wondering that did getting bully help you as an adult now and hold on a second because for some reason i don't see the chat okay now i see the chat i see you flaca she said we listening so yeah well flaca as a girl you probably didn't have no bully so you probably won't know the answer to this because i don't think females well from what i've seen I, yeah it, and y'all don't believe it. Y'all have life. Life is a little easier for y'all. I don't know why us men, we have this. As soon as we're born, we have this thing where we have to be the toughest, the alpha, the, the big dog. So we, we go through life basically fighting all our lives. Basically, we, you girls are chilling, doing each other's hairs. We over here killing each other, trying to see who's tougher. <laughs> so y'all gotta Blair. understand, y'all life is a little easier than ours, even though y'all not gonna admit it, because you only know your life. So you're gonna feel like, don't tell me how easy my life is, because my life, you never lived it. I haven't lived it, but I've lived the opposite. I, I've, 
People don't open doors for me. <laughs> uh, only once in my life, some girl tried to bully me, and I almost got arrested after that. You see? That's another thing. Girls are usually... Yo, you got your sound system on, on your Elgato? Yeah, nah, I'm trying to... Oops, it seems like we're having connection issues. I'm on my computer. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take off my computer sound. Sorry. That's but yeah. Uh, females usually is a little different because y'all usually are almost the same size. Like, I've... There's only one Big Bertha. But aside from Big Bertha, all y'all females are usually generally around the same height and weight. I don't know if I don't know if Toad disagrees. Yeah, usually about five five from five three to five six and about 170 pounds. Now, if you get into the two fifties, big Bertha. That's the one you don't want to mess with. But usually y'all are on the same thing. So y'all really, I don't feel like y'all could bully each other. Like I have, I've never seen a pack of okay, I'm lying. I have seen a pack of women walking around bothering people. But that was in the hood. In the Bronx, you see it all. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, some women get bullied. It depends on where you at. Where in the Bronx, they don't give a shit. There's where? girls that leave their house looking for beef. We're going to go look for whoever's where? wearing the wrong colors. That, that bitch like my man. Hell yeah. Bitch don't even know who your man is. Were you looking at my man? No. Like, you can't even answer the question right and there's beef. Nah, I don't even know your man. Oh, so you don't know him now? What you oh, trying to say? Ain't nobody? Shit. <laughs> trying to say you too good for my man? Man, it's crazy. Life is hard, guys. That's what we're trying to get at. Welcome to the Bronx. You know how it is, La Flaca. I just figured out that you from there the other day. I think you put a you posted a picture of your building. I'm like, yep, that's a Bronx building. I know it. I know a Bronx building when I when I see one. Bullet holes in the front. But yeah, uh, yeah, I heard that from that. I actually heard it from the Fresh and Fit, Fit Fresh and Fit podcast. The guy said that he was he used to get bullied and it helped him. So I know it's controversial, but yeah, Leo almost got into an altercation today because two girls threw milk in, at the car. Almost. That's grounds for ass whipping in the Bronx. Hell nah. You threw milk at my car. I'm about to throw this car at you. Word. Word. Turn your ass over with the car. I'm about to give you your milk back. <laughs> what, hit the car? The car got um, hit you back. Word. You you left some liquid on my on my windshield. Let me return it at 70 <laughs> miles per hour. Word. It's your milk. Right into your jaw. Wake up, fool. You dead. That's the thing about uh, New York Flocker. You could be minding your business. You be chilling. You, it, you, that's the thing. You got to be ready for it at any moment. At any moment, somebody will say something crazy. Like, like shit will just change on the dime. A crackhead will come screaming, fuck you. That, that happened to me this morning. I'm in my truck. I just hear, shut the fuck up. Oh, look out. My man's standing there by himself. Like, what? what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> What's going on? Your man's just fighting by himself. That was me. That's crazy. And then there's other New Yorkers that don't take shit from nobody. So they don't really analyze that the nigga's crazy. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yo, fam, he's crazy. Leave him alone. Now I'm going to bust his ass. My <laughs> man, he's sick. Get away from there. My man said, shut the fuck up 20 minutes ago. You were sleeping. He don't even know you exist. Listen, bro. Fuck that. I'm going to fix him. Word. He's going to be right today. <laughs> Word. I'm the wrong one. <laughs> crazy. But anyways, if y'all... Have any comments about uh, that? Y'all can let me know. What What else were y'all talking about while I was gone? So I could catch up. Maybe I could give you my inputs. I did hear most of the show. I heard you talk about uh, how your mother used to treat her, uh, your father. That was dope. 
I wanted to say something, and I I wanted to point out all women should be hearing this because women nowadays are changing, and I understand you guys feel that it's for the better, but us men are feeling like shit because we still got to do the same thing we were doing before, but now we're getting a whole lot less. We still got to go out there and bust our ass and pay every bill. Just now, because you got a little job, oh, I don't got to cook. So now I got to do exactly what I'm doing. Put my life on the line for the family. And I can't even have the big piece of chicken like I used to back in the days. Like I used to see my daddy. Oh, like, my, like I used to see my mother do with my daddy. Like I can't get the big piece of chicken. That's the only... The only thing I was looking for, forward to in life. Like, yo, my daddy gets the big piece of chicken. My mother treats him like a king, no matter what. I understand that he might not make the same amount of money. I understand that he might not be the one paying every single bill around here, but he sure is treated like he is, like a fucking king. Even though she's working as well, she makes more money than him. And still treating him like a king. Listen, that's crazy. Man, we need more women out there like that. That's the type of women, that's the type of woman I was used to. I've never, my mother was never married. I never got to see my mother married, but I saw how she was with me and with her kids. And I could tell how she would have been with her husband. So it would have been like that. That's how I feel. They, I, I don't know if moms treat their husband the way they treat their kids. Some, back in the days. Like, I don't know if she get, had the same treatment for you. Like, the same king treatment. Like, did she... Yeah, it was like, when we went, it's like, she made sure we all ate. Even if we didn't want to be there. Like, we was like, yo, I don't want to be at this fucking party. Don't matter. Get some food, and then you can leave. <clears throat> You know, like, she'll, she'll sit there, but it was always, like, you know, it was always that shit. Like she made sure that we was taken care of. But then again, it's like, she wasn't afraid to put us in our place, neither. No, of course not. That's, don't get it twisted. I'm, it's part of my job to let, let you know when you're going left. I never felt, that's the one thing I feel some kids get offended by their parents trying to be parents. Like, that's their job. Their job is to tell you not to go outside or not to do this. Or not to, your parents know the best. Yeah. And I, at the point you don't know that, you feel like you're just messing up my fun. And then when you grow up, you're like, damn, my mother was protecting me from so much that I didn't even know. Yo, it's crazy because I don't know if I told you the rules. Like we couldn't, Me and my brother couldn't go places because he didn't make friends and I always started fights. Mm-hmm. And the thing was, like that, I was like, oh, that's not what happens. But every time we went somewhere, I had an altercation with somebody and my brother didn't speak to no one. So it was like, you know, not for nothing. She was right. <laughs> it's like, there's no yeah. one, no one knows you better than your parents. You know, so kid, I know that you crazy. You got a little piece of me. I know that little, you probably noticed that little line. I've seen that little line before. That's me. Yep. Who were you? Mom or dad? Who, who, who had the little raw? The little eye and the tiger. <coughs> I had my mom's temper. There you go. Like, you know, the the, the short fuse. So she knows. Yeah. She knows, she knows. She knows herself in you. And she knows that you twice as bad. Nah, 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 nah. This is me to another degree. <laughs> you know, the, the, only, the first time I've ever heard my uncle say this, he was in the hospital. My mom was on the, the machines and stuff, and they told us we couldn't stay in the room because the family was there to be with her for the last moment. How's that? And, like, and they were like, yo, we're going to move you to this room. You're going to have your own room, and then you can stay with her as long as you need to. So we moved to that room, and there's someone in the room. It was like a double room. Like, yo, what's going on here? And then security comes and said, y'all can't stay up here. Oh. And I, yo, and I turned around, and I said, excuse me? And my uncle goes, see? Fucked up now. I was trying to talk to you because I didn't want him involved with the mint. Nope. Nope. It's your problem. Like, my uncle deadass was like, I was the calmest person you was going to speak to tonight. 
fucked I'm up. Not, I'm and not was, dealing I, with him. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. Yo, it was there was no questions there. It was I was telling him. And I told him, I said, you gonna have to shoot me. Hell yeah. I wanna see you take me out of this fucking hospital. Well, you better go get back up. Yeah, that was a home. that was a big motherfucker too, but I was like, I wanna see you and whoever the fuck else got the balls take me out this fucking hospital. Please. Word. You I'm gonna rip your fucking arms off. Yeah. Yeah. Eat them to you. It may, how it may dare not be you. that serious for you, but oh, it's yeah, like Yeah, how dare you? Do you know what I'm going through right now? Mm-hmm. Do you want me to displace my anger and my sadness, all my emotions on you? Get the <laughs> fuck out the room. Yeah. <laughs> for your safety, please. Like, yeah. when you talk to somebody like that, for your safety, fam, yo, I would, I promise you, <laughs> I will rip your neck off your fucking shoulders. Get Just step away. Look, out of respect to you and your life, and whoever you married to, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Go home and kiss your wife. Or you Please. just, you just fucking, you just yeah. bit the biggest bullet ever. You don't, yeah. do you know what's, do you understand what the fuck is going on in here? You better hope you never go through this shit and have an asshole like you in here. Word. Word. Fuck out of here. You, you better find someone to thank for your life. Hell yeah, you lucky I ain't. The way I was feeling, shit. you lucky Burn. I didn't just hit you with this fucking table. The Burn. little table, that that medical table. Shit. Bang. I could only imagine, brother. I don't know how you... You must have been withheld yourself because of the family being around and everything that was going around. But if I'm, <laughs> the, I'm there for that reason, and these are... Listen, bro, you, you ruined in my last couple of seconds. Yeah. Of something very special to me right now. Well, yeah, the most special thing in the world. Yeah. But you, you yeah. know what helped? It was like, when I started saying that shit to the, to the guard, my uncle spoke to, like, the nurse or some shit. And she was like, yo, listen, I don't care what anybody says, so you gotta stay in here. And she spoke to the guard after, like, because my uncle was on some, all right, I need somebody that has some kind of brain in them. Yeah, some sense. And he spoke to someone while I was arguing, and my brother, you know, Cause it wasn't just me; it was my cousin. Like it was a bunch of people ready to kill this nigga. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, wait, no, 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 you got, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Who called security? By the way, because that's the first thing I would have killed. I don't even know. Who called? Uh, that would have been my question. Be who called you? Please. Who had the audacity to take it upon themselves to go get you? Yeah. While I'm doing this. It's not you, because you're doing your job. Somebody came and got you and told you I'm not supposed to be here. Or who somebody told you? your life. Word. Somebody's risking your life right now, but if you tell me who it is, I might spare you. Because <laughs> I'm going to rip that person apart. Who the fuck? Yeah. You got, man, get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm I'm angry and it's not even me. You gotta be out your fucking listen. I was willing to die for this lady before this. I think I, I think you could kill me three times. Now. And I'm still gonna come back. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. catch you someday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might not catch you now. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, I may be in a coma, <laughs> but I'm going to wake up and I'm going to find it. And this is the thing, though. It's like, it's not even me you got to worry about. Yeah. That's the crazy shit. It's like, I was going, like, I'd have killed him. Yeah. But imagine if you'd have touched me. Oh, man. He would have touched me. My uncle would have really killed him. Not even You got to think, you gotta think about, well, you got to think about this show. It's like, <laughs> the way I was raised, it was like, my uncle and my pops were my father. Yep. So, so imagine now, your sister's on on, the, and then you gonna touch my son? Nah. And he's killing being you. reasonable. Yeah, he's trying because he, trying, cause he knows how that. he knows how I am, but he also knows that if I get to that point, and if he gotta get to that point, it's gonna be further. Oh, it's gonna be hell to be. Everyone's dying tonight. I I thought about that. You're not just gonna beat that guard and go about your way and. Continue grieving. Now that he's dead, let's go back to what we... You know everybody's coming through that door. Yep, yep. And the everybody's patients, gonna the doctors, get it. The other guards, the police. 
everybody's getting it. Yep. So my mama, so I'm done with my mama. Everybody's getting it. Yep. I'm glad it didn't happen because we are here. It's true. We it's have true. survived it. And I don't, I don't uh, know if you noticed, but we got the new overlays. Oh, I've been noticed it. I noticed this since day one. I mean, since I logged on earlier. I just, my brain is not working. I hate you. Probably because I was going to mention it on the chat. And then uh, I swerved a little. I was like, fuck this. Your, nah, car, your car is very heavy. I'm beginning to like it, though. It's heavy. At first, it's weird because you feel like you're driving a spaceship. Like, when you dip out of traffic, you feel the weight. But now that I feel the weight, I'm adjusting to it. You yeah. Just, it's just a heavy car. Yeah, especially coming from that Kia. You had a little... Oh, shit. That shit was air. This shit is heavy. Like, you could feel it. I've never felt a car that's heavy. That's crazy. Oh, like, nah, the, the weight. Like, I could feel it's heavy. Nah, a lot of the cars I had were heavy. Sturdy, but I'm used too. to that shit. Very sturdy. Yeah. But that's a car you cruising. Yeah, I was... That shit is a... That's what it makes me feel like a grand marquee. I don't know. Big cars back in the days that had the bench in the front. The shit is sturdy. Word, yeah. So, Lay's been waiting all night to ask you. So, uh, we slaves? Shit. Listen, according to y'all, I'm the only one that was slave back in the day. So, we gonna... Don't worry. I'm gonna put y'all... I'm gonna put y'all DNA through Ancestry.com. We gonna see. Yo, no, that's not, y'all got some Africans in y'all, man. That's not what you said. I know, I know, my, I know my family know. went through all the... On the Greek side and the Puerto Rican side, went through the slave trade. What you said was we were slaves. We were slaves. Come on, Back man. Back in the 90s, we had the... Oh, man, river... Doof. Like, oh, so. we had to change the shit on us. Oh, so you was in a slave from, from 8 to 4? 8, 8, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.? Monday to Friday? Wait, not the way Black Boat was a slave. Oh, nah, we ain't getting paid in cotton, but we, you know, almost the same. I got the whip mark. Shit. It busted my ass today. I was supposed to be on the show. You made it. The last yeah, yeah, we need you on the truck show. <laughs> 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 we need you to perform here. I like the new overlays, though. It's just, look, what I like the most is... Is it the pixels? It's the clearness. Yeah. Like, it's, it's clear. I don't know how to explain it. There's no... This, it's a clear picture. The letters are crystal clear. This should look like a 4K picture. That's what it looks like. We got no master, sir. Oh, yeah. I got a master. <laughs> master saw me this morning. On time, he was right by the clock. <laughs> Making sure I was dead two minutes early. Master made sure I was on time. What you mean, they? Sure. Hey, how's work, man? How's everything, man? How, how, how you doing? I know you wanted a wanted a Darth chart. Darth choked a couple of people over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I forgot what that collarbone uh, choke is called. I saw somebody do that. My man choked him out with his own, uh, what's the name of that the Chinese gi. thing? The gi? Yo, yeah. he choked him out with his own gi, B. I've never seen that. He did an alligator roll on him. He grabbed him like this. And then he just, he, <laughs> he jumped like to the other side and kept twirling like he kept doing this shit. And by the time the ref went in there, my boy was dead. <laughs> Yo, he was like, oh shit. Yo, he was out. <clears throat> How you with his own collar? Fweep? Come in. Hell yeah. Oh that- shit, that happened to you twice, Lay, with the with the collar? What is that choke called? That's like a jujitsu uh choke. Yeah, that's called. I grabbed your shit and choked you out. Word, choked your ass out with your own collar, you sucker. 
<laughs> Wake up, fool. That's, that's the, what you crazy. know about this shit right here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's got to be the worst way to lose, man. To wake up with the ref on top of you taking your mouthpiece up. But what happened? I've seen a couple of guys. What happened? A gee choke. Nice. Like, yo, what happened? Ah, you, blew up, you, you got your ass beat. For real? I wasn't even here. <laughs> the match ain't even start yet. Word. Come on, <laughs> ref. I still got it, ref. That's got to be the worst feeling. I've seen people try to fight the ref. Yeah. Like, they get bro, knocked out colder than they're trying to take down the ref. Word. Like, yo, what, the, what happened? One of them was, what? Oh, shit. My man, Lay, got choked out by a 100-pound woman. This woman must have been nasty, Lay. Yeah. Like a white belt or something. What was it? A white belt jujitsu? Yo, dude, it only takes one mistake. I know. What's going on, Boric with Tommy? Uh, what, do you guys think, what do you guys think about Steph Curry winning his fourth title being so emotional at the end? Do you think he was the greatest small point guards ever? Small? The greatest point guard of all time, bro. Steph Curry? All big. Hell yeah. I don't know about point guard. Shooter, we can give him shooter. We can give him one of the best shooters. Point guards? I don't know. He's the greatest point guard of all time. He has one ring less than LeBron. And just to put it into perspective. That don't mean nothing? Oh, yes, it does. Because all those rings, he, he ain't do no Durant. Oh, he won those. Durant was... At, I asked, now Bill that Russell you got see 12 it, rings. Yeah, but Bill Russell was playing. Oh, so you're making excuses. Uh, it was playing the white mechanics. So? <laughs> Steph Curry's only shooting threes. Nobody can stop it, bro. That's like Mariano Rivera. Because he they, only throws a cutter. They, they you, hit can't it. Play, you can't play defense anymore. Everything's a fucking foul. Look at James Harden. He doesn't even shoot no more. He just jumps in, jumps into you. You can't do that no more. That's yeah, now he you. doesn't know how to play anymore. Yeah, that's a follow on you. Play really, bro. Hundred pounds. Yeah, yo, pimp, pimp. It's all it takes, pimp. When you got the skills, it doesn't matter. I've seen, I've seen Ronda Rousey judo flip a two hundred and fifty pound guy. Yo, the, his ribs. The thing about jujitsu, it's a chess match. It's about position before submission, leverage. If Someone had the right leverage point. They could hip throw my ass. That hundred pound girl could hip throw me. I'm two. I'm two forty. You got the right. You got the like the the right leverage and the right position. You could do. You can manipulate anybody into. True. I agree. I agree because I've seen. Like I told you, I've seen. I've seen it. Hold on. I was reading and speaking at the same time. I saw. So, I know it's a bad example, but I, yo, you got to give a credit, Lay. I know that you, we, we, we don't give a credit much on wrestling, but this lady was a judo champion. So, but, judo didn't work when she got punched in the face. Oh, no, I agree. I'm not saying, I'm not saying she, she was a great UFC fighter, but she was a great judo champion. I could, I'm pretty sure about that. Her throws are legit. But, yo, Pim, and see, this is the thing, though. It's like, you got to give Steph Curry his credit. True. But if Reggie Miller had a team that could shoot threes just as well as he could, he'd have had, like, nine fucking champions. You know what I'm saying? That's not Steph's fault, bro. He sat around when nobody was there. There, there, was, a, there was a point in time where it was just him and Clay, and Clay broke his knee. And he and, then, and what they happened? Terrible. They didn't make the they didn't make the playoffs, so they yeah. they got out the first round of playoffs. So this is the thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, don't make excuses for one, and then make excuses for the other. I mean, he can't do it by himself. Look at LeBron; he can't do it by himself. Hey, man, that that sounds like it, it, like this is the thing. Is he a good shooter? Yeah, but greatest of all time? I don't think so. It's different eras; they play differently. He's not a he's not a, a pure point guard. Pure point guards don't do that. He would have been a, a he would have been a shooting guard or a small forward if he played back in the day. Shooting guard, yeah, he's too small for a small forward. He would have been a shooting guard, but I don't know if he would have won a guard. Jordan, Jordan would have murdered. Him. He's 
He's little. But he's he's breaking records, bro. He's most threes of pretty sure he's gonna break the scoring uh most scoring if he keeps going. Four time four time champion. Shit, he got more championship than D Wade. Can we agree he's better than D Wade? No. Really? Yikes. Can we agree he's better than Iverson? It, you know, better is all subjective. True. If you put that same team around these people that you're playing, that you're talking about, Iverson's gonna look a lot better than he did. Iverson took one of the historically worst teams in the world to the finals. Could Clay do that? I don't think so. It also depends because look, people say wait, the wait, same wait. thing about fucking Harden playing everywhere. He can't play nowhere. Go ahead. Harden can't play shit. It made it seem like he would have saved the Lakers. You know, can can Steph Curry play play center the way Magic did and win the finals? No. He's he's he could shoot. Give that man his respect though. He could shoot. If you I, damn, I was thinking about this walking around school. I mean, work. If I surpass LeBron. Right? And I get one more. I got more rings. Than, I got the same amount of rings as Kobe. Where do you put me in Mount Rushmore? No way. Matter of fact, I need two more to catch Michael Jeffrey Jordan. It doesn't matter. Yo, Robert Ory got more fucking rings. Than yeah, but Robert already got those in different teams. He went to different but, championships. But by teams. your standards, Robert Ory's better than Jordan because he got more rings. No. Yeah, that's the way you're, you're standardizing it right no. now. Yeah, that's what you're saying. If Steph Curry gets more rings, he's better than Jordan. So whoever got more rings than Jordan is better than Jordan. That's they, not how it works. I think there got to be a a sir a sir fucking rule to that. No, no, you got to be one team. And Kobe and Jordan were great because they you had to beat them. Like they they stopped legends mm -hmm. from ever getting to a to a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like Curry let people fucking go get rings whenever the fuck they wanted to. There's no heart in this era. Who did he stop this year? No he one. A Tata Kempo. He went straight through him. He yeah, don't have no heart. Went straight to Ja Morant. That was tearing everybody's ass. <coughs> the only person that he prevented from winning was the fucking... Or the only team that actually was prevented from winning the finals would be probably the Mavericks. Because Luka was doing his thing. Took care of but, Luka. But, they, but these teams nowadays have no fucking heart. They have no fucking heart. Look at all the sloppy mistakes that Boston was making. Yeah. Come on, son. You do not pass me the ball at three miles an hour in the fucking finals. Draymond Green should not be able to touch that fucking ball if you're passing it to me. The same way last year, the fucking finals. The Suns and the fucking Bucks were like, no, please, you win this. You, you win this. I don't want to win this. You win this. The Suns, man. They've been doing that for two years straight. You win this. For the sub, bro. Hey. Yeah, the problem is they only see one guy and like they went alone. When Jordan had other players, and Kobe had other players, true. But when the game was on the line, this this is the thing. When Curry won his fourth championship, this is his first MVP, right? Mm -hmm. Jordan won every single MVP of the championships he won. I agree. Does that make him better or worse? And I could be the greatest point guard. That means that Jordan league. won the play. Jordan won the finals. So I'm saying I could. I know what it takes to win. Sometimes it doesn't take me. I could adopt. If we got Durant, I don't need to score. It's it's like when when Shaq was the MVP and Kobe wasn't. It was like Shaq won this shit. Damn. And then Kobe had to win it, and when he finally got the MVP, he's like, "Yeah, here you go, nigga. Give my respect." MVP is the most valuable player on that team. If you're not the most valuable player on your team, you ain't help like you helping them, but you ain't the main guy. They said Igudala was the main guy when they beat fucking LeBron that first time. They said Durant was the was the guy when he, when they beat LeBron that time. Will you take Durant or Curry? I would rather take Curry. The team is winning with either. 
No. Kevin Durant does not have... There's no proof that Kevin Durant can take a team to the finals. Well, he could take a team that's already built he, around no, Curry. He, <laughs> he, could, he could take a team to the All-Star game. You know what's crazy? Some, that just proves this. He joined the team that was already built to win the championship. Because he, he basically joined this team that just won. This is the team he joined. This was his team. There's, they haven't added nobody. It was him, Clay. Yeah, it was, this is the team he played in. He basically joined yeah. this team. Is this a good team? Yeah, but then you got to remember, bro, this is a different game of basketball. Back in the day, they used to have a, a playbook just for Jordan. The Pistons was like, yo, we're going to play this game just for Jordan. No, they do the no, same thing. Right? You, know you know how they plan on beating the, the Warriors? We're going to outshoot the threes out of them. Yeah. You don't have people that can shoot as many fucking threes as Steph Curry and Klay Thompson can. Get out of here. They're not making up any plays. They're not sitting there going, yo, we're going to guard Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and make the other team win. No, 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 no. Take as many shots as you want. Take as many fucking turnovers as you want. We're going to shoot the lights out. And then when we couldn't hit those threes because we're not a three-point shooting team, we're just going to be like, hey, man, you just missed shots. That's the problem with that's, the Knicks. That's not, how you play, that's not how you play basketball. No, I don't think Curry will beat Jordan one-on-one. I don't know. I mean, I'm lying. So, he might. The Spurs had a very, one of the best teams I've ever seen play. Like, actual team team. Especially when Duncan's on the floor. They had a leader. There's no real leader. Mr. Fundamental. Yeah. Yo, you, you can't tell me that, that Steph Curry's going to beat Jordan one-on-one. Jordan was, was Defensive Player of the Year. I'm told. Steph Curry doesn't play defense on nobody. You do know Steph Curry can shoot from anywhere, though. Don't matter. If I'm playing defense on you on the other end of the court and you can't shoot, it don't matter. Jordan, Jordan's not going to sit there and go, well, shoot the shot from the other end of the court. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter if you're on Mars. He's going to prevent you from doing anything. You know that was the mentality too. back in the day. If you dribbled the ball next to me, I'm disrespected right now. How dare you think that you're good enough to dribble the ball next to me? The defense now is called Ole. They just let people run past him. Not Draymond. <laughs> Draymond, every, every series he was knocking somebody over, doing something crazy. My man ran over John Murat. Oops, my bad. Picked him up. Held him in the air like a baby. Fucking. What's that? Totally forgot his name. Draymond reminds me of Dennis Rodman. You just here to drive people crazy and play but, defense, bro. But the different I don't think Dennis Rodman will get rattled. The way oh, Draymond no. was rattled, the, the way Draymond was rattled in what game three when they were in Boston, in the at least the beginning, the first three quarters, Dennis Rodman would never been rattled. He would have loved that shit. Yep. He would have played harder because you talking about fuck Rodman. He was like, Yeah. Mm hmm Which one of y'all first? Bit the whole cone. Nope. I like that about Rodman. He was a tough. That's the first player that didn't score one. I used to see not score one point, bro. You don't need to. 21 rebound, 16 assists, <laughs> zero points. You don't need How, to. How, Sway? How you got 15 rebounds and you didn't put one back? Because <laughs> the play was get the rebound and give it to Jordan. Give it to Jordan. That was his job. Give it to Jordan. That was the job. Get the rebound. I don't mm -hmm. need you to shoot. I don't need you to score. Get the rebound and pass the ball. That was your position. That's what you do. At 6'6", six, six, bro. I don't think Dennis no. Robert was that short. Was, I think he was like 6'8". Six, 6'8", eight. Six, eight, yeah. Okay, but that, for a rebounder, bro, 6'8 is shit. I can them days. Now, too. Uh, a lot of, he's 6'7". He's 6'7". Seven, seven. 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 Grabbing 20 rebounds a game? He yeah, must have had some fucking hops. He was nice. He said that. He said that's all he practiced. Yeah. He knew how the ball was going to hit off the rim. Yep. He, yeah. Robin's career high is 34 points. And that was probably oh, yeah. in the Pistons, right? Really? 
I probably, probably was in high school. Probably was in the Pistons <laughs> or in the Spurs because I know he played in the Spurs also in college. <laughs> the bad boys. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie though. I think Boston, if Tatum stops being a bitch, because you're not supposed you're supposed to step up in the playoffs, bro. You all oh, like, had a bad game, bullshit. Yo, Al Horford is the veteran on that team. He should have been the one to step up. He should have been the one to keep Tatum in line. Just because you're the superstar doesn't mean that you're the leader. Sometimes the leader needs to be like, yo, you need to step up. Word. You need to step up. Throw some balls. Stop with this bullshit. Let's go. We need you to lead. Right now, you're acting like a bitch. (laughs) Yeah. But that's that's Al Horford's job. That's the oldest man in in the room's job. Teach this young kid how to be a leader. A pimp, you can uh, lead. You can lead when you're winning, but when we down, now grow some balls and lead this fucking team. We saw it on the other side. Was it Iguodala? It was. Remember the play I showed you when my man was like, "Yo, yeah. come here, come here." <laughs> Don't do that, man. Yo, he really pulled them to the side like a step pop. Yo, let me highlight you, player. He's not supposed to do that. Because that was back in the day. That's a back in the day, Tennessee. I don't give a shit if we were up 50 points. You don't never do that shit. Mm-hmm. Never do that shit. And what uh, Draymond's career high. That's easy, Pimp. Draymond's career high is four rings. Four rings. He got four of them joints. Four little... Charles Barkley was looking for one. This one. That's all Charles Barkley wanted. He just wanted to wear one. He just wanted to look at it. Oh, so based off of your criteria, Dennis Rodman's better than Draymond Green because he got five rings. Uh, it don't even have to be with the criteria. I thought Dennis Rodman was better than Draymond without the rings. <laughs> Draymond, Draymond was good. No, I oh. think Dennis Rodman is better oh, yeah. than Draymond. Without the ring. First of all, Dennis Rodman don't even shoot. Imagine if Dennis Rodman would just practice his shot, had a little butter jumper. Bloop. He didn't even try to shoot. You imagine if he had a shot. Draymond at least. You know how many times I see Draymond open at the three and he passed? Here you go. I, I know I don't got a shot. I'm good. He's supposed to fucking get the rebound and pass it out. What is he doing at the three? Word. Why are you here? That reminds me of 2K players. You can you shoot? Nah. Why the fuck you here? <laughs> Why you taking up space? Get out of here. Get that or you can't shoot. What you, what you standing next to me? Word. You you blocking me. I can shoot, but I can't with you here. Can you go over there? <laughs> Basketball is great, man. Damn, it's over. Yep. Football. Over. Hockey, we just lost over. All we got is baseball. Crazy. And not a lot of people watch me. They don't watch it for the enjoyment of baseball. They watch for the home run. Correct. And you actually got to sit around to watch. Might as well you know watch the replay, I guess. You know what the crazy shit is? I would rather watch baseball at the stadium than on TV. That, that is the only game I would rather be at the stadium because the game goes so fast at the stadium. And when it does, when you're at home watching, yeah, you don't see the time. Yeah, the only thing is, I'm weird. I will. It's two different experiences to me. When you're at the stadium, it's a whole different experience than when you are oh, yeah. in the TV. But I would someday like to mix both of them. I want to watch yeah. the game and I want to hear the TV in my ear. Like I actually enjoy hearing Michael K. Yeah. You don't hear shit at the stadium. It's just nothing. You hear when the piano comes on, and then just crowd noise. <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> Unless next, you hear the number two. Eric yeah, Pisa, the, Number two. That's it. <laughs> Unless you hear Kluk. Oh, there it is. Yay! Back, back down. I want to bring my headphones and hear Michael K as I watch it live. 
I, I haven't been able to do it yet, but that's that's like a dream of mine. I hear you. For my birthday this year, I don't know if I'll do it, but I want to sit. I always wanted to sit either behind the home plate or dugout. By, by the by the dugout, or at least by the first base, first or third base. But I want to be in that row, that first row. Yeah. Like I always wanted to watch a game from there, see the fly balls, see the players, scream at the players. Atuba, you asshole! <laughs> I can't hear you. Word, you know I can hear you, right? You right there. It's your first time with some anyway. good tickets. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I probably I'm thinking about doing that this year. Baseball. Damn, we 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 spoken about well, you spoken about everything. You went from sports to, to teaching the kids how to be. But I wonder what you really look for in, in partner. I wonder if we should start kicking games to these kids. Game that we wish we would have had. I'm trying. Like yo, kids, you, there's a lot of shit out there that the world doesn't teach you that should be taught to you guys. And we know what that is because we're already adults, so we know what we would have wanted to have learned. I would have more loved to have learned taxes. Or I don't know, I, why do they take this? Why do they take that? How can I beat this? Like I've heard some shit on YouTube that I'm like, yo, if this is true, why the fuck weren't we taught all of this? Because it's better to keep in control of people who are confused. True. You know all the loopholes, you're going to go through them shits and you can't Hell keep yeah. in control. Like, give me all the loophole. If I buy a 20, like I heard there's a millionaire loophole. Well, I've seen two guys do it on TV. He was going to owe the taxes $10 million. So instead, what he did, he bought a six million dollar plane to lower his his how you call this tax bracket. Yeah, to lower his tax bracket to another tax bracket, and then the income tax actually ended up owing him money. So there's little loopholes like that. Like my man actually went around begging people. Like you're supposed to have. Uh, I'm trying to find the word for this. It's not an appointment. You're supposed to risk, like schedule something. Yeah. So it could be ordered. My man went in there. Listen, I just sent you the money. What do you have available? We'll send you a plane. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, he's like, because he, the guy was like, nah, the plane yeah. will be ready in a month. He said, nah, I need that plane today. So how much is the plane? So it's, this is in that. Go look at your account. I sent the money already. He said, but we don't have a... Go look at your account. He looked at the money. He was like, I, I can't. The money's here. Whoever the fuck ordered something, if whoever didn't pay for this shit, you lose. That's <laughs> it. You can have the plate tomorrow. So yeah, I didn't know that shit. Another thing I found out, just free knowledge to you guys. Maybe we could talk more of stuff that y'all want to know. Uh, if a vehicle is over a certain amount of weight, you could deduct the whole worth of the car from your from your income tax. So there's only a few cars that you could do it with. The G wagon is over six thousand pounds. You could deduct the full value of his worth for the first year. So fifty thousand dollars you could deduct off of your tax if you bought this car. I didn't know that. Yeah, so it's a lot of a lot of tricks and shit that I want to get into and actually learn and actually pass it on to you guys. Like, I need to be learning this shit now. When y'all grow up, I don't even. This is the car I'ma buy for this reason. I'ma save money from here. If I put my money in a Roth IRA, my, my damn lawyer been telling me that since I was fourteen. Put your money in a Roth. Like, what the hell is that? I'm going to put my money in the bank and spend it. And I did. 
I was 14. This was 25 years ago. If I would have put that money that I that he gave me in the fucking whatever he told me, I probably would have had hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. Fucking bitcoins. Word. Friend came up to me early in the game. Yo, you need to buy these. Nah. A lot of shit, yo. A lot of shit in this world y'all need to know about. Crazy. That's dope, Toe. We can teach these kids. Hopefully when we got Pumpy and them and Big Food and all these young kids, we can talk to them. Word. But guys. Yes. I don't see Okay, now we got five minutes. I was gonna say, guys, it's up to I'm, you, bro. Nah, my man held it down to the best of his ability, and I don't mind stay. I can stay here till twelve tomorrow, cause I like I told him I have the energy for now. But my boy looks like he's holding on for dear life. Like I see it is like I saw it as soon as I got here. It was like finally, bro. You motherfucker. I've been <laughs> trying to blow my nose for seven hours. I'll be back. Just talk to these people. I don't give a fuck. I need to blow my nose. How you feeling, though? Tired. That's all tired. You gonna get some rest this weekend? How you gonna... Yeah, I'm... What's the plan? Yeah. I'm asleep. Sleep all weekend? Let's sleep as much as I can in this, too. I don't have no plans to go out in this. Mm, are we going to see the people uh, this weekend? Or are we back on Monday? Uh, we probably back on Monday, but I'll let you know if we decide to get on. Are you off on Monday? No. For June, Juneteenth? Nope. That's crazy. Didn't they say that was supposed to be a national holiday now? Started last yep. year? Yep, but they, they gave us, uh, we get a floating day. So one of us is off Juneteenth, and then the other one gets to choose the floating day. Within 60 days. It's only fair, though, that you allow the black person to be off. <laughs> and you take the floated day. <laughs> you can take it on Puerto Rican day. Come on, Puerto Rican day parade. You can, you can do something. Oh, yeah. They don't give us that day off. Exactly. You can take it. Flo- I'm going to take my floating on my day. Puerto Rican day parade. Y'all can have y'all June 19th or whatever. Hey, man. All I know is my man said he had a dream that we were equal. Exactly. And I want to share this dream with y'all being on her. Don't fuck with me. (laughs) Oh, shit. (coughs) Oh, shit. shit. Oh, shit. My bad. I was trying a new sound effects. I downloaded it. I've been... That will conclude this evening's entertainment. (laughs) I think that's what something we could do tomorrow. Well, I, I might do tomorrow. I need to. I really want to fix on my board. Like, this is the sound I'm going to keep. I always wanted this one, but I never put it on. I, I always wanted that one. That's yeah. my, my Metal Gear. The, the Panic. <gasps> I love. That was. That used to be my favorite thing in Metal Gear Solid. I used to alert the fucking people on purpose. Just throw shit around, shit, shit around their feet. What's that noise? Queen? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that box? <laughs> oh man, what else did I put in? Okay, okay, we got the flex bomb. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, that's normal. Stupid. And I got the, the stupid. <laughs> gotta gotta have the six nine. Stupid. Oh, I, I lost the you fool. Now get out. English motherfucker. Bing do you bang. Speak it? I see you, that's one that's one that you you brought out and I was surprised. You that, you was like, "Show, can I ask you a English question?" Yeah, you speak it? that shit was perfect. I was like, I haven't heard that for years. Yeah, that one and the who I haven't heard in years. Oh shit, I don't even have that. No more. <laughs> like straight garbage. I don't have the. I gotta get the who again. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't heard you press the who in. Another is you did it better. I wanted to sample you. I think I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna go back to that stream or go back to the short. 
And I'm a who? I'm a sample the who, and I think I'm a sample the who are you? What was it you said? Who are you talking about? Yeah. Like who? What question are you answering? What question? Who? Yo. Oh, I gotta read. This is where I left it. I keep forgetting. I keep leaving it down here. And in the morning, once I jump in that shower, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I wake up at the same time every day. I leave yep. my house five minutes late every day. Don't fuck up my five minutes. Coming down here to grab this wig will make me seven minutes late. And then it fucks everything up. Yep. But now nah, I'll bring it to you Monday. I'll probably put it upstairs. Might have to wear it though. How the fuck I'm gonna bring it to the truck without people noticing? What the hell is that in your hand? Don't worry. My pet animal. But yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'm sorry I haven't been able to be around. Been paying the bills, trying to survive. And I guess I'm back to feeling the same way I used to feel before. I can't wait to you guys to start getting paid from this so that I can leave my other job and give you my 100%. Like, give you all my 100%. Like, like a job. Yo, wake up at 9. So, I got to wake up at 9. We got to be there at 9. And same thing. This is your job. This I can't wait. This would be dope. Yep. Oh, I can't wait to have to actually go to a studio. Like, yo, so every Friday we meet up. Jimmy's Bronx Cafe or something. Bring your, bring the cameras. I got to be there at 9 tonight. Something like that. We'll figure it out someday. Yeah, we got this. Did you did you let them know about the shirts by any chance? Or is that a right. secret? We got a secret. Cool. All, right. All right. All right. That's why I mentioned it to you and not nobody else. Word. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood knuckleheads show. Appreciate you coming, even though you was late. Appreciate you still making it. Uh, ha, it's your man. friendly neighborhood knuckleheads hopefully we did this show justice signing out peace everybody have a good night have a good weekend see you Monday Monday at 7.30 word I know this is a, is a podcast studio we can go to Let me, yo, let's talk about hey, that in we'll the, talk about that in the chat Kenny. Now. hell yeah Kenny I wouldn't mind putting our bread together and doing at least one see how it feels how it comes out how word. we vibe it's a different vibe, Kenny, because we was in the same room and we was doing a video. And if it was a podcast, it would have been amazing because we can't anticipate each other from in front of each other. Yeah. We can't do it now. Like, I can see when he wants to talk in front of me. Or I can see when he's going to say something. He's opening. He's breathing to say something. I can stop. <coughs> Word. I can't see that here. It's, it's, it's a delay. So it was... Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I... I was scared not to hold you back. So I was scared that I was going to be interrupting you in person. And then when I, once I got in the same room, I'm like, this is much easier. I know when to shut the fuck up. I can have a conversation. Because sometimes it may seem like I'm talking over you. I just received the voice a little late. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I hear we, you, need I hear to try, we need to try that someday. That would be dope. Word. But I yo. Don't know. I don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. No, nah, yeah, my bad, Joe. No, 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 no. You yeah. show's falling asleep. He just had a four hour drive. You gotta let this man rest. Mm-hmm. Blame it on me. That's right. It's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody.